was just walking around the casino and I had my tr- my tripod mm-hmm. and I saw him taking pictures with fans and I was like, oh, I'm gonna get him right here. Yeah. It was just in the moment. So I was like, damn, I'm gonna do an interview with all the fans watching. And I was like, okay, whatever, just get in the moment and just do it. I was being a receptionist at their gym in Oxnard and I remember one time they had a media workout but I saw top rank, like their, mm-hmm. their reporters and everything walk in and Christina Poncher was actually one of the reporters and I never really saw that in the sport so I went up to her I was like hey like what do I need to do mm. to like be, do what you're doing for me the shocking thing is like fighters are actually willing to talk <laughs> maybe I thought it was like their ego or something but no they're actually really chill mm-hmm. they're very honest people what's up family welcome everybody appreciate everybody tuning in this is episode 12 yep. 12 Marvick Productions I'm your host Marlon Hernandez I got my business partner and co-host up, Victor Rodriguez wearing his Chargers jersey yeah. is that a what we say that's a hockey team right nah, that? <laughs> this guy. famous team. hockey team yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> good to see you bro good yeah. to see you today we have a special guest we have christina ramirez in the house Seb, hi. Um, hi christina hi. for those that don't know her she's a boxing journalist boxing legend yeah oh, boxing man. legend pretty much getting right there, getting there yeah that's um, the goal that's, that's the goal, the goal yes. she, she has her own youtube channel by the name of ko christy so if you guys haven't seen her yet check her out subscribe to her channel uh for any interviews that with your favorite fighter you might be looking to see you actually just brought it up um yeah coming up on, on one year so right yeah yeah congratulations on that one year anniversary now now she's doing a <laughs> podcast look at that wait what's a one year what, what? Your hey, that i started hey, my youtube do, do your research dog <laughs> <laughs> um so how what what made you start all of that like your youtube because i mean we're mm-hmm. kind of in the same process like mm-hmm. how's it been for a year we've only been it <sighs> Since December, right? December, like or November, late four, November, five months. Yeah, yeah. so oh, we're wow. actually beginning okay. on no- November. How's so it? How's it been for you? It's been challenging. It's been challenging, especially like trying to get interviews. Mm-hmm. Well, what's some of the uh, the uh, challenges you, you've had? Say, a boxer say no to interviews. Really? <laughs> some of them do, yes. Or some just like see, like leave me on scene. Uh-huh. So I'm like, okay, whatever. Why do you think that is though? That's I'm I'm curious. They're probably just like, oh, I'm not getting paid for it, so. They're, they're but it's money. understandable. Mm-hmm. It's understandable. It's, I don't, I don't take it personally. Right, right. I mean, you shouldn't. But I mean, as a boxer, though, like if you're trying to brand yourself and put yourself out there, I would think like, hey, yo, I'll do it for free. Just right. put my name out there, thinking long term. Yeah, I except guess. when you have like, it depends which boxers you're yeah. hitting up, right? Yes, like exactly. if you're a new and up and coming exactly. boxer, right. you'll probably that's what you're referring yeah, that's to. That's what I'm yeah. referring to. Are yeah. you? So are you talking about? I'm assuming you're talking about like higher. Yeah, okay. yeah, exactly. So it's kind of it's maybe easier, expected. It's, it's easier getting interviews when you're like at a press conference or something right. rather than just Zoom. because they get to meet you in yeah. person, yeah. interact with you. Oh, like yeah. she's cool. Mm-hmm. You know, maybe I can actually. I'm down to. Not only that, but they're already in the mindset of like, oh, I, like I, I'm here for this. Yeah, I'm here for yeah. this. It's part of my job. We're promoting a fight, et cetera. Now, um, I mean, I'm just going to the elephant in the room is obviously you come from a family of well-known fighters and yeah. just mm-hmm. boxing people. Mm-hmm. Mikey Garcia is your uncle. Yes. Robert Garcia, right? boxing legend. Robert Garcia mm-hmm. is Shout also your uncle, his brother. Yes. So interesting that like. I'm, I mean, do you use that to your advantage? I mean, I would. I, Fuck yeah. I, like, okay, if you know, you know, but mm-hmm. I don't like using it to my advantage because I tried... You, like you're, go- you're creating your own lane, exactly, right? Like your own exactly, legacy. Exactly, yes, yeah, yeah. yes. Um, okay. But yeah, like if they know, they know. Like mm-hmm. it's funny, I actually had a... He's a golden boy announcer that mm-hmm. went to one of my sports journalism classes and just was talking to us. Mm-hmm. So I just started asking him like, hella questions uh-huh. and without even he he didn't know that where I come from like yeah, with my family or whatever. Because you guys don't share the same last exactly, name. Exactly. So. Uh-huh. Yeah. So yeah, because they're Garcia's. I'm Ramirez. Mm-hmm. So I just started chop, chopping it up with him and then yeah, just networking with mm-hmm. him and I was able to get into like Golden Boy like the the mailing list and stuff like that and That's then dope. actually. Last month, we're in February. Yeah, last month I went to Virgil Ortiz's fight, and I then seen that. he came up to me. He's like, "Hey, you didn't tell me you're Robert's niece." I was like, "It never came up." Like, <laughs> that's funny because I, I, that's funny because I was wondering, like, you know, because he trains with Robert Garcia. Mm-hmm. I would I would think he would see you at the gym. I don't know if you go often or not. I don't. I haven't really gone often until mm-hmm. I started actually. Reporting. Are they Are they in Oxnard or No, they're in Riverside. Riverside. Oh, yeah. okay. I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. Does your uncle still live in Oxnard? No, we all moved to Riverside. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, shit. My mom's side of the family. Mikey and all them are in Damn, Riverside. No wonder, because I would go to Oxnard, and I'll, I'll be looking for their gym and never found um, it. I believe they sold it to Lomachenko's mm. group, but I don't know if they 
sold he's out it there or, he's got a little i think lomachenko's still out there but i don't know if it's the same gym mm-hmm. to be honest a lot Maybe of a lot of boxer would come yeah. out of oxnard like yeah. that was the spot right there mm-hmm. yeah yeah i've heard that of, uh, so it, it's legends. so it's does it feel better for you like it being a surprise like you not saying anything is it oh how come you didn't tell me yeah like, you're related? yeah it's a it's a, it's a it, cool feeling yeah that's yeah, yeah i get that because like he said it's yeah. it's building you're building your name yes. and people are doing it mm-hmm. for you and then that's kind of like the icing on the cake type yeah. of thing but you also get to see like um people's generosity how they really are because you know mm-hmm. i feel like if you do sometimes you use that to your advantage and they treat you a certain way because yeah. of Exactly. You know, oh, Robert Garcia, that, that's her, that's his mm-hmm. niece, and they're going to try to cheat you a certain way. Yeah. But if they don't know, well, we'll see the real colors, you exactly. know, like, oh, shit, like, this person's actually real cool. Mm-hmm. Like, so to this day, you haven't used that at all? You I haven't, mean, like, pulled that card? No, no. My mom, <laughs> Girl, oh, my God, it's actually funny because. I mean, they're going to know now. <laughs> now they know, yeah, exactly. That. We're about to make this, we're going to make this an ad. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're going to pay to make sure they know, you know, you're um, a What fight was it? I think it was Bam Rodriguez's fight in December. We went to Arizona and yeah. I interviewed Subriel Matias. Okay, yeah, I he's see a, that. He's a, uh, he's a champion. Been, That's a killer, right? Too. He's yeah. crazy, yeah. So he's, I was. In, he's literally killed somebody. Yeah, in the ring. Literally, yes. I mean, it's shouldn't have, RIP, uh, nothing to brag about, but you know, well, like, well, like well, that, but, but it's uh, I mean, these these it's, no fan like they they know what they signed up for. Yeah, exactly. Like you could die it's in the ring, and he's sport. actually yeah. been. And that was a tough fight there. too. I mean, mm-hmm. to the other cat's defense, he's been making people quit. <laughs> yeah, within but, five rounds. Yeah, but I interviewed him, and then it was cool. But I w- I didn't bring up anything, and then after mm-hmm. the interview, my mom was there. She's like, "Oh yeah, we're Robert Garcia." I was always like, "Bro, come on." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Leave it to mom to come in and spill the beans." I was like, "Mom, really?" But it was cool. Yeah. That's dope. That's cool. That's, cool. That's crazy. I mean, uh, shit, I, I totally forgot what I was going to ask. I'm curious. So, like, I, I, I like to kind of, like, dissect and, and, you know, figure out, like, where this kind of all started with you. And it's pretty easy to see that, obviously, coming from, like, a boxing family. Is that what it was? Like, you seen your uncles and that interest? Because we don't see, personally, I'm thinking, I'm more like a UFC guy. Okay. But, of course, I still see sport. some boxing as well. Like I, I see some female journalists, not mm-hmm. too many. So like, what, what, when did this all start for you? If you remember, I'm sure you do. Well, yeah, I mean, ever since I was little, I grew up with the sport, so mm-hmm. I've always been a genuine fan of it. So, mm-hmm. I mean, were I'm, you there training, throwing hands? No, too, I mean, I've trained a little bit when they had their gym in Oxnard, but it wasn't ever like to yeah. compete or anything. Gotcha, gotcha. Mm-hmm. Just but to, you know, I was, I was doing. <laughs> defend yourself. I was doing. I was being a receptionist at their gym in Oxnard, and I remember one time they had a media workout. I forgot who whose media workout it was, but I saw top rank like their mm-hmm. their reporters and everything walk in. And Christina Poncher was actually one of the reporters. Mm-hmm. And I never really saw that in the sport. So I went up to her. I was like, hey, like, what do I need to do mm. to, like, be, do what you're doing? So you saw a female. It's like, yes. okay, cool. You got inspired. I actually have moment. a picture with it. I'll, I'll find it later. Yeah. We'll, we'll yeah. get yeah. that and share it. Right. Oh, yeah, God. So people okay. It was, like, 2014 or uh-huh. 15, something like that. I mean, you were young. Yeah. yeah. How old were you at that time? Uh, I don't even remember. I was, like... A sophomore. And you, so you were still in high school. Yeah. Oh shit! Okay. And from that moment, you, you kind of had an idea yeah. what you wanted to do. She's young, dog. How old are you? You're like <laughs> I'm 26. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. You're a little bit older than yeah. I thought. I thought you were like 22 or something. I've been getting she that a lot been, lately. Yeah, you look, yeah, yeah, you look. Young. I've been getting that a lot lately. It's funny though because when I was that age, people would say that I'm I look uh, 26. Uh-huh. Now when I'm 26, people are saying I look 22. I'm like, wait, what? Shit, that's it's, a good uh, it's us like yeah. darker skin. Like we, you know, as we <laughs> get older, we get better. Like, <laughs> right, just, right. Yeah. What can we say? Sorry. So you you spoke to her. She kind of yeah. So she told me she was like, yeah, you gotta you gotta get a bachelor's in journalism. So ever since then, that's just been in the back of my mind right i was like okay i gotta get a bachelor's so do you see yourself just covering boxing or do you want to do like all types of sports boxing is my initial sport i mm-hmm. would love to just focus on that but i'm open to anything too gotcha. like even with the Mundo, like mm-hmm. we're interviewing soccer players we're into we're going to right, right. hockey dope. games so that's dope any cool, cool soccer players that you met so far um i haven't met actually me, i did uh, meet him uh I julian julian from America, what's it? You used to play? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Champions League. I used to be uh, okay. Barcelona. <laughs> yeah. So okay. We'll talk There's about it later. I'll show you the pictures. Me what's and Messi Chito, are pretty close. Chito Hernandez? Uh, Javier Chicharito. Javier. That was That's his cousin. That's your cousin? No. Oh, no, I was no, about no. to say. No. <laughs> we just have the same no. name. My name is Marlon Javier Hernandez, so he's got the same name, but okay. I'm not Mexican. He doesn't have the first name. Yeah. He's not as good he's as me. He's Undure, not as good Undureño as me. version. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's really cool though. So, so what's the lady's name again? One more time, Christina, Christina. Poncher. 
The, is that the girl you were talking about? Yeah. Okay, got yeah. it. Got, yeah, we don't want beef with her. No, I love she's her. Great. Yeah, I no, love no, she's her. your inspiration. She's Coincidentally, your... she actually went to Long Beach too. So oh, I shit. was like, oh damn. Like once I was there, I was I hit her up. Oh, she was like, mm. I, I did you know that I used to go there? I was like, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> there it is. You're, you're on the right yeah. footsteps then. So you you see her, you're like, okay, there's a bunch of men, a bunch of testosterone in the gym. You see a female. <laughs> I like what you're doing. She yeah. gave you the roadmap. Mm -hmm. So this is why you're essentially following yes. this. But, okay, I'm kind of curious. So you need the bachelors for, like, to work at these stations? Like, that's a requirement I'm of theirs? I'm pretty sure it is, but... Makes sense. Yeah. It makes sense, because it'll be, like, corporate type. Yeah, exactly. I was just thinking, like, if you do... Like, because you're obviously doing your freelance work mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. You don't really need anything there except no, just, yeah. I guess, skills and network. I, I'm doing that for experience, too, because yeah. I know... Well, to build you your resume. To, exactly. Yeah, once exactly. you get to have that interview, right. like, well, hey, look, this is what I've done. Mm -hmm. And they can see... Your work. This, this is, yeah. yeah, this is That's my work. Smart. This is who I've interviewed, big names, yes. et cetera. But I also seen that you have uh, kind of like a podcast with your uncle and your, mm -hmm. your cousin, right? Yes. How, how did that start? So when was this? This was like August. It's called, after, uh, it's called Robert Garcia Unfiltered. Unfiltered. There Unfiltered. There we go. Yeah, so you guys yeah. can check it out. I still get nervous with mm -hmm. them. I, I get more nervous with them because uh -huh. I know them. Like, I don't know. They clown me and stuff oh, okay. after Afterwards. so i'm just like man <laughs> it's it's different that's it's a different, family it's love, a tough give love. Us 20 yes. more minutes we'll start clowning you once we start <laughs> figuring out no but i get super nervous with them but uh -huh. this started back in august after the navarrete versus valdez i was there right? at that fight you were i was there I was yeah there. really i was covering that oh, fight shit. that was my first ever fight that i actually covered covered really yeah. So um, my family, they're from, they're from Sonora, Mexico. Oh, so okay. one of my so cousins, you're a big Oscar fan. Yeah, of okay. course. <laughs> you, you already know. Uh, so my cousin, he uh, one of his dreams was to attend a boxing fight. He's from okay. Sonora, you know, like, and, and Oscar Valdez. To me, it was perfect uh, from Sonora, where he's from, mm -hmm. Tucson, Arizona. It's like a two-hour drive. Right. Uh, but we went to that fight, and, uh, you know, obviously it was a all-out Mexican war. Yeah. But, man, just seeing Valdez and Navarrete in there, I was like, yo, Navarrete is huge. That's a big yeah. boy. and. You know, uh, after the fight, um, you know, seeing Valdez walk out and him being emotional, I felt like I was like, damn, you know, they beat up my dog. Oh, but he always says he's, he's sorry, bro. He always says he never promises fight of the year or anything. They beat up your dog. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah. he promises to give it the, his best. In no, the and, he does, so, he and he does. He does. He does. And uh, res respect to him because you saw what Navarrete has done to all these other fighters. Mm -hmm. And for Valdez not to even fall or quit and that yeah. eye being swollen, like, that's he, he a real one. No, yeah, but on our way back from Arizona, out of nowhere, because they had stopped doing the podcast. They were mm -hmm. they didn't do it for like over a year or something like mm -hmm. that. But we were on our way like back. Because of like coaching and just work and stuff? Yeah, because their schedules, because my uncle and his, my, his son's schedule, mm -hmm. they're a little different because they're traveling, like they're doing right. stuff. So sometimes they don't even have the same time schedules. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they're in different time zones. So when we were coming back, he was, my uncle, he was like, hey, tell Pita that we're going to start the show again and mm -hmm. you're going to ask the questions. Like, out of nowhere, it came from him. And I was yeah. like, oh, damn. I was Who's like, Who's Pita? What? That's uh, Robert That's Garcia. my cousin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, Robert okay. Jr. So, Robert Jr. Okay. okay. Yeah. Pita. So, yeah, they call him yeah. Pita. You know, um, true story, down. I actually ran into him, wow, long time ago at um, at this boxing gym in, uh, in Bell. Uh, I think it's called, it was called Azteca's Boxing. Mm -hmm. uh, but they closed down now. And uh, they were having, like, amateur fights there. Mm -hmm. And I remember talking to Pita, like, hey, what's up, bro? And he was talking to me like yeah, he knew me. And I was like, super chill. I'm like, yo, I don't know you, bro, but thanks for, <laughs> you know. Like, I know who you are, yeah. but you're, you're talking to me like we know each other, but I appreciate that. I thought yeah, that was pretty humble of him. He's like a big brother to me. We, yeah. we grew up together, literally. That's dope. So you never, um, okay, so you saw the uh, the lady do her thing. That's something I want to do. But you never actually wanted to get in the ring yourself. Or you did, maybe a little mm. bit. Maybe. It, it caught my attention, but not like let, put me in. Not yeah. put me in. Yeah. And I mean, you know, in high school, you know, any scraps there? You are there was one in seventh grade, but that okay. was it. <laughs> did Knocks you win? I did. <laughs> there it is, bro. Come on now. It's in the blood. It hey, was, I what mean, type of question is that? It was so random, too. I don't know. It just happened, like, right so hook. You were just pissed, and then you were it like. It was bad. The, the what? Garcia Tell us more. Blood what would you do? Up. Right I don't hook, know what left hook? I don't know what happened. I just remember getting her and throwing her on the floor, and then they ha it was in the Boys and Girls Club, the oh, after shit. school uh -huh, program. Uh -huh. and Sounds they, about right. <laughs> is, is this an Oxnard? <laughs> yeah, an Oxnard. Okay, and they damn. just like had to pull me out. And it was so bad because I, it was random as hell. Yeah. 
She's gonna watch this. She's gonna remember that. She, she probably like, will. I'm so her. sorry. She <laughs> might report this podcast. Actually. <laughs> sorry. That's her. My friends will uh, know what I'm talking about. Sorry, too. girl. Damn, that's funny. It's embarrassing. Um, you want to work for Telemundo or, or who? So I have an internship at Telemundo right now. Why? Why then? That's just who accepted you for the internship. So I got or? an opportunity from one of my professors. Uh, cause he, he knows like, so, cause he used to work for ABC seven mm-hmm. and I guess some recruiters from like different networks, they were like, Hey, like, do you know anyone that speaks Spanglish or Spanglish? Uh, <laughs> that yeah. is a language. Um, I mean, that no. is straight up. Yeah. You're not um, a little bit of English and Spanish. Someone that's bilingual. Someone that's bilingual. <laughs> that was the word. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, he, he recommended me and then like three other or two other people. Mm-hmm. Y'all had to compete for yeah, the spot. Yeah, so you got it. Would I y'all? Oh, shit. Would y'all do to compete? What? What? It was just like? interviews. We. It was weird because it was Spanish like it was stuff. two different, two different set of interviews. Mm-hmm. One was just recording ourselves, reading the questions, just recording ourselves, and then we mm-hmm. had to turn that in. They probably wanted to hear your voice, your tone, right. your yeah, personality. Exactly. Does she and speak I was Spanish so or Spanglish? <laughs> yeah. And I was so nervous because I messed up on one of the questions, and we only got two tries. Mm-hmm. I was like, damn it. But then I ended up getting, I passed that interview, mm-hmm. and then I ended up getting an actual interview with, like, the recruiter, the, the yeah, sports yeah. producer, and all that. But and it was nerve-wracking. I'm sure. I bet, really yeah. Heck yeah, you feel that pressure and that, mm-hmm. especially if you see the other people, too, like, oh, shit, I'm battling for this. Yeah. yeah. How long have you been there now? For I the started interview? in September, and I, sh- I believe it's going to end in, in April. In April. September. And then what after? What happens after? I don't know. Well, if you do well, they'll I'm hire actually, you. She, she I'm got KO Christine. I'm actually going to ask them if there's any opportunities available, like mm-hmm. maybe to extend the internship or if any like actual job mm-hmm. jobs are available. How did your pro- what did your professor do with ABC? Was he a sports dude as uh, well? No, like, he no. was for news. He was okay. news. He was a multimedia journalist, so he would he would literally record everything, interview, and then put it every put everything right. together. But uh, mm-hmm. I mean, uh, I'm assuming. This is going to open up other doors for you. you oh, know? yeah. Telemundo next, you know, it's going to be Universion. And I imagine. Yeah. Oh, man. I, I mean, don't know. Do I don't they know do if sports? I want to stick. I don't, yeah. I don't know if I want to stick in, like, hard news stuff. Mm-hmm. Cause right. Like, well, I mean, different. if you do sports journalists, that'd just be. Well, the thing right. is with Telemundo, I'm getting more production work, mm-hmm. like experience instead of journalist experience. Gotcha. What do you yeah. mean? Can you can you talk about so that? So for mean? producers, it's basically. Like putting the content together, like editing videos, cutting like highlights mm. and stuff like that. On but that note, do you do your own editing when it comes to KO Christie's? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. I do all of that. that takes a lot of time. Yeah. Damn. So. I gotta check out the channel. I'm not gonna lie and say, "Oh, I've seen it. It's great." And <laughs> not, not that it's not. Yeah. I just it's still, see. it's still building. It's still building. Right now, okay. but, yeah. I mean, you're interviewing the right people, and it looks like they're, you know, that they, they enjoy interacting with you too. Yeah. So that's a good sign. I saw the one with Keyshawn Davis, you know. Yeah, he was really cool. That was my first time ever interviewing him. Yeah, it kind of seemed like you guys already knew each other. Like the he way, was super chill. Yeah. I loved his energy. Yeah, it was very... Um, he seemed really... He seems like a cool, down-to-earth guy from what I saw with his interaction with Dale and just the mm-hmm. press conference. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's, a, he's a man of God. He called him out. <laughs> well, I, I think he's mature and he's learned from his mistakes. Oh, what, wait, sure. what, do you, what do you mean? What When? What? He called him out after his fight. Tail. Yeah. I mean, I'm um, Keisha. Oh, yeah, yeah, I saw that, which is kind of weird because there's a little bit, um, there's a clip that was going around too while they were in the press conference. And Stales oh, they reading, were sitting next to each yeah. other. Stales pretending to read his, but that was kind of a decent, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like they were both soft spoken. Hey, man, I, I apologize. Like, mm-hmm. so that was cool. Well, and then I, in the end, yeah. you know, obviously yeah. the act, the show goes yeah, on. Is like, yeah, right, yeah. right. I mean, they, he knows that's a money fight. Yeah, for sure. Right. What do you think? What do you think of Dale? He's we're, cool. we're we're ha- he's half Honduran. I'm fully Honduran, so we like him. But you know, damn little, that that post conference, we're a little crazy. Conference, we're uh, a little crazy. <laughs> we don't know where his brain I, was at for that one. I mean, I don't know. I don't like to put like opinions on boxers, especially because you know they're out there doing their thing. Mm-hmm. Like, well, they I work hard, exactly. but like, have you met Dale? I've met yeah, Dale. Oh, yes, yeah, I've interviewed him. Yeah, he's I saw super that one. super cool as well. Um, very outspoken yeah <laughs> very yeah. outspoken but i mean more he more up, now than yeah. more recently too like i think well, he's, I, I feel like pops would you know wouldn't let him speak too much because pops would always try to be speaking over him i think now with the promotion and everything i think they got a clearer vision like a clear game plan like we got to be more outspoken yeah. to you know get what we want any um, any uh boxers that you've interviewed that you're like damn this person's actually like real dope like humble Tail. Tail Tail was really cool. Like the first time I interviewed him Damn, was. I'm gonna have to ask Tail, yo, bro, let's, let's <laughs> go for a drink. <laughs> <He> <laughs> you can't drink, I'll chill. drink though. Uh-huh. Um, when was it? 
last month in January when mm-hmm. I went to Virgil's fight too, um, I was just walking around the casino and I had my tri- my tripod mm-hmm. and I saw him taking pictures with fans and I was like, oh, I'm gonna get him right here. Yeah. Right. But I was, it was just in the moment. So I was like, damn, I'm gonna do an interview with all the fans watching. And I was like, okay, whatever, just get in the moment, just uh-huh. do it. And, and that then, was a good interview. Yeah, yeah. it got yeah, you did great. it did re- got re- uh-huh. a lot of views. So I was Cor- like, yes. correct right. me if I'm wrong, that's but um, that's that that's that was the same event Ar- Arnold Barbo- Barbosa yes. when it confronted him too, yes. right? Yeah. Oh shit! So that must have been. What intense. was that about with Barbosa? He's trying to fight him. Yeah, mm-hmm. he's trying to fight him. Mm-hmm. And then Tail was like, he was like, I mean, you I can't call that. me out if you ha- you're having a bad performance. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. Facts. I mean, Who's um? Who are some of your fighters, uh, Christina, that you? currently like that you grew up watching and that i currently like i really like subriel matias he's a killer <laughs> straight up he's cool i'm telling you bro literally he's on, yeah. he's on the come up so he's your favorite right now um, he's one of my favorites he, i think he, him he just signed with eddie hearn and match that was match a good boxing. sign too yeah. i think him bam rodriguez is also one of them i really like Devin haney as well a lot of people don't like his fighting style i do i, I think he was he's improved a lot mm-hmm. from before you I know, feel like with every showed. fight he keeps progressing. Yeah, and that's it showed. I think he's gonna murder freaking do. Garcia. Right. Oh, for sure. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't think Gar- Garcia. Garcia's my. This might be his last fight. He's just doing it for the payday, in my opinion, and that's it. I mean, no, I think he'll keep going. He's got enough, enough his, of a his, following. He's gonna drop a lot from the rankings, probably. But who cares? Think, I don't think he'll be a top five. Yeah, I don't exactly. really. I don't really like Haney's personality too much. No. Nah, like his fighting's cool, yeah. but. I don't know from what I've seen in interviews and podcasts. I mean, you've met him in person, and, mm-hmm. and it could be maybe a facade or an act as well with him and his dad. But right. there's been a lot. I guess I guess that's a theme in boxing where dad and sons yeah, <coughs> kind of combine yeah. even with Dale. And, yeah, right. I, I you know. think I think he's just trying to you know because um, they 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 try to clown him a lot or come after him a lot where he's like because he's clownable. Because his, his, his dad his dad I guess protects or does all the talking for him, so yeah. these fighters start trying to. You know, punk him in a sense. Where that narrative but when like, he yeah. goes in, he goes in. Like when yeah. he starts yapping, he starts yapping. Uh-huh. Yeah. Like that that interaction he had with Dale back in the day. Like he, he he's he's you know he's there. He's locked yeah. in. Yeah. yeah. But I don't know. He there's other times where they've asked him certain questions and he can't really talk. He can't really like say what he wants to say. Mm-hmm. Or I don't know. He's a young kid. What is maybe, he like? Twenty three. He's I th- maybe like twenty five. Oh, maybe. Yeah, I thought he was young. I mean, I feel like I don't know. Maybe nerves. Right. Like yeah, you're right. I mean, he's like a that. pro boxer. He's not yeah. a pro talker. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. So it's kind of it's kind of like you know with you, like you're mm-hmm. pro and like asking questions, but feeling being on the other side of the camera, it, it's different. I was. You're doing great, by the way. You're doing great. Yeah, you're doing great. I was, nervous. Yeah. Yeah, I was great. nervous getting in here. No, you're right. doing great. Mm-hmm. You're doing great. Shit, I still get nervous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I mean it's uh, it's it's real. I mean, you know, it's you never know what's gonna happen at every podcast yeah. and how it's gonna go, but. It's something, you know, we just push through. I think the best advice, you know, not to get off on a tangent about, like, boxing and stuff, but as long as you're yourself. Yeah. You know, if you can just be you, you can always be on. You don't have to pretend, like, oh, wait, I'm acting. Like, what do I have to say? Like, yeah. You know, just because. As far as, uh, I know I asked you this, uh, but, like, Telemundo, do they write down the questions for you, or is that something that you kind of create uh, for yourself? Like, you do your research of who you're going to interview and you come up with the questions? Yeah, so they do, because they have a segment called Athlete of the Week where basically mm-hmm. they shine the spotlight on any young athletes, 19 and under. Okay. And then this past week, I interviewed, her name is pa- Perla. Perla, I forgot her last name. Mm-hmm. It's, a, it's, a, it's a unique last name. Mm-hmm. Um, but she's a 15-time national champion. And we went so. to her gym and um, they did send me questions, but... They were kind of just like the simple, general questions. Mm. I wanted to get a little bit more deeper into it. Right. So, Spicier. Yeah, exactly. So I asked her more about like the gym she's at, like mm-hmm. the fighters she's around, like the coach that she's around, like all of that stuff. And <clears throat> I think I did pretty good. That's good. And I'm, <laughs> I'm sure companies like, like Telemundo like to see that where they're yeah. like, oh, shit, like she could create her own questions yeah. on, in the moment. Mm-hmm. She knows how to improvise. So I think that's. I was going to ask that, like, yeah, how does that work if they give you? So those are just general ideas of you, like, hey, you should probably take the combo this way. But Mm -hmm. they do give you the freedom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Yeah. Which is good. Yeah, Yeah, they let you develop and do your thing. I think I'd freeze in the moment, like, hey, yo, so, um, um. (laughs) Nah, you do great. That was with me, like, one of my first interviews, Uh actually. It was really nerve-wracking. You choked up? Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I still do sometimes. It happens, it happens, yeah. Yeah, it's just, your passion carries you through, I mean. Yeah. I mean, yeah, sometimes it's kind of like, uh, sure, so what are we going to talk about next, yeah, you know, exactly. but, yeah. um, what, what, uh, 
who were you interviewing? Who was your first, if you remember? I My mean, I'm sure you laugh about moment. it now, right? But yeah, so when I got to Long Beach, we, I took an ethics class for journalism. Mm -hmm. And one of the assignments was interview a journalist. And it's just, it was just a Q&A, you know, like mm -hmm. question, answer, question, answer, and just write it down. Um, and for some reason, I was like, I'm just going to go big on this. I was like, I'm good. I'm a hit of Jim Lampley. Mm -hmm. I looked up oh, Jim shit. Lampley from HBO Boxing. He was yeah, like yeah. the HBO commentator, commentator for like yeah, 30 yeah. plus years. Mm -hmm. Um, surprisingly, he had his email on Google. Uh -huh. So I emailed him. I was like, he's probably not going to reply. And mm. he did. <laughs> he replied. It reminds me of Tim. Exactly. He replied. Yeah. And I was like, what the hell? And that was my first ever interview. I was like, what Jim the hell? Lampsy. He's Jim a goat. Lampsy. Yeah, he's yeah. well known as well. And Can me, we find that on KO Christy? That's uh, the thing. Watch, let me explain. Oh, let me shit. explain. <laughs> I was say, yeah, I this was my that. first ever interview. So my. She said, I didn't record it. My dumb ass, I didn't record it. <laughs> we yeah. had, we had <laughs> technical difficulties. I had the audio. I had the audio uh -huh. recorded, but I didn't record the actual, like, me oh, conversating shit. with him. I have little clips yeah. on my phone. You didn't but think about that? Or you just, it was just in the moment? It was just in the moment. Like, I don't know. For some reason, it just didn't click to me. Like, okay, I need to record this. But I mean, I recorded the audio. Damn. And I have the Q and A on. When you tell the story, do people be like, "Nah, we don't believe you. We got to see proof." Uh, no, <laughs> I mean, I got proof. Yeah, you got the audio. I got the audio. I don't know who that is, but it makes sense if he's yeah. a legend. Like, okay, he, he, you've seen him for sure, bro. Older white guy, probably. Yeah, he was the one yeah. that always yeah. on, always on HBO. Always, yeah. yeah. He probably did great if you got through the interview. Right. Don't be moving it too much. Hey, okay. bro, don't tell me what to do. Um. Yeah, I mean, so you've come a long way. Like, you did that. You choked up. It's funny. I mean, true story. Um, so you know how I mentioned, like, we do life insurance and all yeah. that? My mm -hmm. first interview with uh, with Albert and <laughs> I forget I forget who else was on there, but my first interview for Elite Sales Podcast, mm -hmm. that's the name of his podcast for the life insurance thing, I choked up for really? real. Aww. Yeah, but you see, your thing is like you're with him one on one. There's no cameras. Yeah, I can edit it out. Right, you can yeah. edit right, it. Right. Nobody can see you probably freaking out. Exactly. No, like for me, <laughs> this was live. Oh right? man, was it live. was live. It, it was yeah. I mean, we had a, we had a <laughs> and everything. It was. I think Al, Albert. I, Albert was right there, and uh -huh. I was here, and then the other guest was here. Albert was fucking. I mean, this this dude read the room. I mean, who wouldn't read the room? But he was quick about like making me feel comfortable okay. so i i literally choked oh. up you know that the song lose yourself eminem like, you know i choked like oh. like i was like he asked me like, get some water? he was like he was like he was like Mar like marlon you know life insurance whatever i was like like oh <laughs> it took me so long to like swallow my own saliva and yeah. it was, it was like, you want some water i was like yeah please like on. and it was like the toughest interview right. oh, oh my god that was your first ever interview that was like my first podcast okay. i mean yeah prior to coming to uh, for me personally like prior to joining this life insurance company um we did a little bit of work with uh shout out to the homie yoel we did a little bit of work back at the old company but uh, it, that was just me and him mm -hmm. you know no eyes on us we're not live and right. shit so yeah less this pressure. was less, it, pressure, less pressure exactly yeah, it's but, definitely different because i was gonna say when we started in the financial company financial service company pr prior to that i mean i remember us doing running like trainings and coaching people up mm -hmm. and talking on stage and at that time I, I never felt nervous but when i first did the first podcast i remember where raul you and i we just kind of stared at each other i think that, like, oh. i think raul was sweating a little bit yeah I remember it's that. because i feel like we want to get we want to get it right we mm -hmm. want to be yes, we don't want to yes. mess up we it's just in our head like right. I have we to want get this we right. want things to be perfect yeah. but i think another thing is we also don't know what it's going to be like mm -hmm. right because it's, it's 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 honestly a brand new thing so that's why it's like looking back at it now obviously it's really funny but i you know i always i'll tell people like man like give yourself some slack yeah. like you know like you went ahead and interviewed a legend for your first my thing first right. ever. come on like, <laughs> like who else can do something like that it who can so, say they, they yeah, did exactly. something the yeah. fact that you even took that action to email him that that right there already you know it's he was super sweet enough. too. He's a school teacher now. Did he, did he know you were Robert Garcia's? Niece? No, he didn't. No. Oh, so shit. when he, it was funny though, because when we were on Zoom, he was like, "So who are you related to?" And I was like, "Huh?" Mm -hmm. He's like, "Who's your dad?" And I was like, "Jose." Uh -huh. <laughs> well, my his real name's Jose, but he changed it to Wilmer. Uh -huh. But I was like, "You don't know my dad." Like my dad, like no, there's no. But way. he probably knew something was up because I mean, he yeah, asked, he asked, right? and then he's like, "You look familiar." I was like, "Okay, well, my grandpa's this," and then mm -hmm. blah blah blah. He's like, "Oh, okay, yeah." Shoot, your that grandpa talking about him he's a goat himself yeah <laughs> shit. who's your grandpa 
He's he, well, I call him Bro, Payo. He's, he's my Payo. Yeah. Um, but he his name's Eduardo Garcia. They call him the Big G. Mm-hmm. The big, and, big G. Yeah. And that's he what they call to, me in the original. Office. Really? Yeah, Big G. No way. <laughs> he's Little G. <laughs> Is he lying? <laughs> no, lying. no. <laughs> big G. Shout out, Big G. <laughs> they call him Marley. <laughs> Little G in the background. <laughs> No, yeah, but he he trained obviously both of my uncles and then mm. also Fernando Vargas. Right, I was about oh, to say yeah. that. Yeah, Fernando, he don't. I I met Fernando in person. Oh really? Yeah, I had uh, I had quite a moment. With it. He had just gotten his neck tattoo. He had just gotten this blasted, okay. and we were at Panda Express with Nando. I remember Nando. Nando, yeah, yeah, you're, yeah, yeah, from yeah. Primary Colombiano. Nando, yeah, Colombiano. Yeah. Shout out Nando. Uh, yeah. We saw my Panda Express, and I was nervous to go. I was like, "This guy's famous," and he was like, <laughs> "He had the rap on his tattoo." Yeah, that's cool. I I'll never him. forget. Uh, you ran into Triple G's train. I don't know his name, and you were saying uh, we were thought, drunk. He he was though. We were also. super oh drunk. My God. Hold on, hold on. And then he was hold actually on. fighting. It was when Canelo and Triple G were. We were oh, lit. Yeah. We were lit. We were in downtown. <laughs> I, I remember this. We were uh, LA Live. LA Live. Yeah. LA Live. Mm-hmm. And, and to this, wait, who? Yeah, he's Triple G's. Abel Sanchez? I yeah. think that's his name. Yeah. Abel Sanchez, yeah. And the UK. Because he's Latino, and then Triple G is whatever the fuck he is, Russian or some shit. <laughs> he's Ukraine, 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 whatever. Or... So it's like Latino. So you should be on Canelo's side. Yeah. But... Mm-hmm. And it was when they were fighting, and he goes I up. I have a video. To, yeah, he goes oh, up yeah. to Abel Sanchez. What's up, Canelo's trainer? Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> And, and, I, I, and I'm sure Abel thought he was trolling, yeah. you know? That's funny. No, but I was drunk and I was just, I, this is You're Canelo's like, I'm just living life right now. Yeah, it's Canelo's coach. And, and he didn't, he was cool. He just laughed at yeah. him. Yeah, I'm sure he thought you were trolling. That's it would have been so funny if you would have said, like, hey, yo, Canelo's going to knock him out in five rounds or that something. That probably would have come next. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, no, he probably would have dropped you from I, there. I think he pulled me aside. <laughs> But yeah, we've come a long way. I mean, yeah. you know, from you not recording to mm-hmm. having your own, you know, YouTube and yeah. building that up, and from me literally choking, and you know, now I can just. Right. It's part I'm of the question process. For you guys, what yeah. made you guys want to start this podcast? Man, look that at this. This, this, is, this is why I like. There it is. Is. There we <laughs> go. Bring more journalists on. Man, she got her. Oh, no, your story. Can let's, I just say something? She, she, got, she got her let's questions let's ready. You're the first person, and no shade to nobody. I'm the first person that asked. You're the first person wow. that's like, yeah, like, that take, like, kind of switch it, like, hold on a second. Let me, like, let me take control. I like that. I appreciate <laughs> that. Because obviously it's like, you know, we. Man, I think we both got different stories of how we got started. Uh, what, your question is how we got started with Marvic Productions or. Yeah, like, how'd you guys end up I'll with I'll let you yeah. start it off. Sounds good. Uh, I'll pretty, finish it off. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Uh, I think it, it all just started as an idea. Uh, we, we had an opportunity to sponsor two professional boxers by the name of Giovanni Cabrera and Raul Curiel. Mm-hmm. And uh, from that process, we're just like, yo, like, it will be dope if we could interview this these guys, you know? Yeah. Um, you know, kind of learn their story, who they are, where they come from. And from that, you know, we didn't even have a name for the podcast. Like, we... We legit shot our first podcast with Raul Curiel without a name oh, to wow. the podcast. Uh, but you that, guys yeah. just winging it. Yeah, we just yeah. We, we legit just winged it. We were having dinner one time with um, with Albert in Pasadena, and that's where um, everything came to light. You know, mm-hmm. asked Albert like, "Hey, this is what we want to do." I know you had brought it up to Albert before in Pasadena. Yeah, I believe it was. Pasadena. Oh, it's with one, uh, uh, Jack, Jack, Jack yeah. Prosperity, correct. And, uh, you know, I kind of brought it up to Albert, like, hey, man, this is what we, we have this boxer. We'll let her interview him. We were thinking about renting a studio. Mm-hmm. But obviously, we know you have the cameras and um, the equipment. Would you be willing to rent us your your studio? Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, Albert, great guy, very genuine. He just said, Victor, when is it? All right, come through that day. Aww. And that's how we legit got started. Yeah, I mean, we wouldn't be here at all without Albert. Okay. I mean the the guy you met her that he's yeah. got he's got all the resources yeah. right and and, and Clifton little, like Clifton he's like, <laughs> little little G, <laughs> little G over there nah he's the homie appreciate he's you here helping like, us me out too, me yeah. too <laughs> right give me a shout out <laughs> um so the truth is Christina like we we actually started um I I started one called Money Moves with Marlin okay. we filmed one episode. I was a guest. And that's all she wrote. You were we the just, guest. We, guest, yeah. we just, you're right. You were the guest. Yeah. We just did one. We did it at my house. We we it's hired some homies. They came through. Uh, so we filmed it with like lesser quality equipment. All and and I think personally, I've always wanted to do something like this. Yeah. Like we've all got something to say. Yeah. Right. And and let's just be real. Like in today's world, like it's a way to make money. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a way to influence people, and it's, it's networking too. It's, it's right. a great, you know, exactly. It's a great. Cool people like yes, you. Yes, exactly. Right. It's a it's a great um you know method of networking with people and all that stuff. And mm-hmm. it's like, why not me? 
Like, yeah. I don't think I'm this shit or anything. Like, like no way. But I got a story. Yeah. And, and right. one thing I've learned is that you, there's always somebody there that when you share your story, like, you're going to touch somebody. Yeah. You know, sure. and whether that's... Uh, you know, whatever kind of story that is, whether it's or religious, they could relate to, yeah, right, or like sports, or like you know, like hey, I saw the female and that touched you and yeah. made you. So we started that. Um, we filmed it, and that was the first and last yeah. episode. <laughs> yeah, it was. It 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 it, hap- it, it, it birthed quickly, we and it didn't kinda, really have a game plan for it. Or we didn't know where we it was didn't have go. a game plan. We just it, had an idea, like oh shit, let's just fuck it. Like it wasn't that. the right time. Yeah. Just, just really plan. It, it really wasn't the right time. Mm-hmm. Like we, we gave it a shot. We got a taste of it. I think, I don't know how you felt, but I was like, okay, yeah, we could do this shit. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. we could, we could put on a podcast and we had talked. And then, so it's why just, did it end? It just wasn't the right time. In uh, sense. So, I think that um, God had a bigger vision. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, really specifically, I think that you know, I know he was in a different place mm-hmm. mentally, financially. I think for me. Um, I was in like a building phase for my life insurance agents. Cause just mm-hmm. to be clear, like I'll just be honest, but to this day, we don't make any money off of Marvin yeah. productions, yeah. zero. So I, I mean, I don't know if you've cashed in some money off your YouTube. If you have, that's awesome. I just started getting the monetization, like the ads. The monetization. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I haven't reached my, my. Like the, the goal that yeah, you have to, exactly, right, right. Yeah. So we're exactly. So that's like, our goal to get okay. there. Yeah. yeah. We want to get there. So life insurance is my main thing. That's my yeah. bread and butter. Mm-hmm. That's how we met. You know, mm-hmm. if we go back on our story, I'm a little bit older than he is, but we met right. at a financial services company. And, you know, since then we've been friends. But anywho, it just timing. Like mm-hmm. I had to, you know, work and figure things out. And yeah, then this opportunity came and then it all started. It all really started with the geo fight. Uh, I yeah, would say that's mm-hmm. where like we had the idea of wanting to do a podcast. I, I know you had re- reached out to Albert and you had mentioned to him, like, hey, yo, you know what? Vic and I would like to do like a podcast and all that. But then, bam, that happened. I hit a Marlin. Yo, there's this boxer. He's going to be the co-main event mm-hmm. onto the Earl Spence and uh, Crawford fight. You know, there's an opportunity to sponsor him. Yeah. Are you down to do it? And, yeah. you know, luckily, people always talk about, like, I, well, not talk about, but I think it's very important when you get into a partnership that you got to have somebody that has, number one, the same morals as you and the same ambitious. Yeah. Uh, and I think that's very important because, you know, I I, I got a crazy ideas. I bring it up to Marlin. Marlin be like, hey, yo, slow down. Slow down, G. <laughs> You know, let's we like we each have this. our roles, you right. know, so it, it is it is really nice to see because um, I think I think in a partnership like you're you're solo. Yeah. Right. So it's different. Like you only have to deal with yourself. Mm-hmm. I have well, to deal with his hold, ass. Hold the camera for you. It's literally by itself. I oh, just shit, think, really? yeah, I do it by myself. Oh, okay. And I've gone, I Dog, actually you, need you a camera they have guy. The things. Yeah, oh, they okay. have. I, I need a that. camera person because, yeah. They well, I mean, I don't know because like like you said with Teo, it was kind of like on the spot. <laughs> yeah, it was on the spot because, okay, so no, but, but with you the weren't tripod, in it, you yeah, were it was, I was just holding it. Yeah. So that was a little easier. And so I do you like do this? No, I, I use the tripod. When okay. I'm on camera, I use the tripod. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. See, this is what I have to deal with. Yeah. with <laughs> Come on. No, no, no. All jokes man, aside, man. though. All jokes aside, like I will say, what I wanted to say is like, um, I mean, if you're, for anybody that's looking to do a podcast or whatever kind of business, like your partner is key. Yeah. It, very key because um, we, we may not see eye to eye and everything, but like he said, you know, we understand the mission. We understand the goal. And we each have our own roles. Right. Like just to be transparent Mm -hmm. like he books most of the guests okay like with you this is you know something like you know i I didn't know Mm -hmm. um i'm more like the the business side like Mm -hmm. dealing the contracts the money like Mm -hmm. figuring out which saves my ass too from getting into trouble you know yeah that's true marlin is the type of guy he's more structured in that sense so and more business savvy like I can negotiate to a certain extent, mm-hmm. but I, I'm more, I don't know how to counter offer. Yeah. And that's where Marlon really comes into play. Yeah, we got the some funny. team right here. Yeah, got, uh, yeah hey, no, I no, mean, 100%. Our name is Marvick Productions. Marvick Productions. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, hey, yo, low key, when we started, there was the Mar and Vic podcast, or just we, the first Like you episode. said, we had a lot of names. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. No kidding. I mean, yeah, with Raul, it was like, so it's funny yeah. because with Raul, we came in with hella questions. Mm-hmm. You know, it's kind of like maybe. That was our charm tribulation right there. Okay. Yeah, where we 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 were like, we were really excited because we we booked him. He just. Chat GPT had a lot of questions. Yeah, yeah. oh my God, <laughs> Chat GPT. Yo, what what would you ask Raul, you know? Could a you professional have? boxer and they gave us like all oh, this. Oh, type damn, so we okay. came in with our, so Raul, so uh, <laughs> what did you, who's your favorite fight, you know? Yeah. And Which it, was it didn't fine. look good though because. You know, we're looking at our phone, which yeah. kind of, it could be rude. Yeah, but I mean, you know, that was fine. It was more what we realized is like, damn. So when it like came robots. to editing, mm-hmm. 
I think we sounded fine, but I think the 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 issue or the challenge I saw was like Raul did most of the talking. Okay. We were doing most of the questions. So hey, what are your thoughts on right? Mm-hmm. So when it came down to like reels and editing and releasing content, it was mostly Raul. Yeah. Nothing against Raul. It wasn't really like engaging. There was right. no right. There yeah. wasn't. There was real, stuff of us. Like yeah. so, I, we saw it from a perspective like. Who is Marvick? You know, okay. we got to put ourselves yeah, out exactly. there where people can get. get yeah, so that's been that's yeah, the. Yeah, because once people know your story, they're gonna want to tune in. Right. Yeah. So that's right. 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 <laughs> yeah, and it's you. and it's all it's all an art. You know, yeah. it's the more we do this, is like, hmm, like how do we bring out what we want to know about Christina, but also get ourselves involved? Right. So, mm-hmm. I think that first episode we had to make proper adjustments and we're like okay you know what moving forward let's just have a fucking conversation yeah you know not that that interview with raul was bad and we definitely want to run it again um but it's more natural Mm -hmm. like you know and and that could go your way or it could not because if you're for anyone like trying to do a podcast if you're not naturally just a talker Mm-hmm. that could actually bite you in the ass because yeah. if you don't come prepared uh okay so uh you so right how's there. your day going you like up, you yeah. know but with us it's like we just come up with shit on the spot it's really nothing like we'll we might have an awkward pause oh so hey like, you know we'll come back authentic. with something i like that. it is authentic like that. it is uh-huh. authentic i mean you know we gotta that, calm a, yeah that's mm-hmm. our goal behind that there it's we just, gotta calm ourselves because i think it again like i said earlier it's really key you gotta be yourself and then just, you know, if you have a natural interest in your guests, which we do, it's right. like, like I said, to me personally, it's like, you're a female. We don't see a lot of women doing this. Right. And then the just, sport, uh, yeah. it's cool that you're following the footsteps of Christina and she has your name and it's, you it's went to the same college. She it's brought that like, up. She brought that up. She's like, you already have the same name with a unique spelling too. Cause she spells it a little same weird Same name. Too. You guys Not went weird. to the same college. Sorry, Christina. Not weird. <laughs> Different. Unique. Different. It's yeah. unique. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you about so. to start the beef here. No. <laughs> <laughs> she knows I love her. Yeah. Yeah. So that's how, that's how we got started and. Again, like been doing it networking has been really important for us because mm-hmm. we wouldn't be here with our boy Albert. Like this is all his equipment. Right. Mm-hmm. So we give it's him that his alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> Except the alcohol. That no, it's his bad. alcohol. Oh, it's his no, alcohol. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that everything. <laughs> everything is. In fact, you know, he <laughs> practically owns us as well. Yeah. You don't really. Hey. <laughs> ah, wow. <laughs> jokes, jokes, jokes. Not jokes. But um, yeah, that, that's how we got started there, and you know, just learning as we go. And again, though, I think just. If you do start a business with a partner, you got to know that partner. Like Marla and I, we've been knowing each other for more than seven years now. Like we met in 2015. Too yeah. Too long. I'm waiting for but, this to end. Like, shit. You're like, the but, contract's about to end. <laughs> but since I've met Marlon, who he was back then has stayed true to today. Right. So I know who I'm going in business with. And, you know, just to keep it real, like I, I get people that tell me like, yo, Vic, why don't you just do this shit on your own? Yeah. You know, but I'm like, nah, this is, that's not how it works. Yeah. This is a partnership. And I can't. You can't do everything by yourself. You got to have a team, and that's very important. Like, they don't know the role that Marlon plays. Yeah, exactly. You know, they just see. They don't see the bigger picture. Right. And sometimes I break it down. And sometimes I'm just like, ah, you know, why even go into that? Yeah. But, you know, I, I definitely um, respect Marlon. And I, like I said, who he was in 2015, I stayed true to today. Mm-hmm. His morals, he's never, uh, you know, played me or, or done anything um, not in my best interest. Mm-hmm. And I respect the fact that he looks out for me in that sense where it's like, you know, he is older than me, so he's yeah. more wiser in, in, in certain things when it comes to the business. Or better boxer too. <laughs> I don't know about that. I used to box, you know. But uh um, you guys just fought right now after oh, I'm undefeated. <laughs> oh, he was trying to get me to fight him right oh, now. Oh really? Oh yeah. I'm undefeated in the streets. <laughs> <laughs> but um but yeah, no, so What's it called? It's very important. You know, who are you going into partner? Because I see a lot of people say like, oh, you know, I had a bad experience with, with my business partner. He yeah. played me this. Well, it's like, did you know who you were going in, into business with? That's what and to be out. fair, some t- people change, right? You go into business with people thinking everything's going to go well. But, you know, they things show their, they show their colors there. like that's happened to me, you yeah. know, on the other side, not Marvick. Obviously, we're still here. But yeah. like on the life insurance side, that's happened to me numerous times. Really? Yeah. And it's yeah. and it's business. And it it's a lot. And it's people, right? It's it's understanding that people can change. And yeah. sometimes that change might be good. Sometimes, sometimes it might be bad. Not. Right. Yeah, so. I agree. Yeah, I mean, as long as you can stay true to yourself and trust God, man. Right. Like, look, for yes. me, I'm not afraid to say, like, I have faith in God. And a lot of this shit 
I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Yeah. I don't. I truly just, don't. But I just have that. Your worries to him. I just have that faith We're of like, you know what? Yeah. He's with me. If 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 I'm for him, like if I'm with him, like who can be against me type of thing. And okay. I'm going to just work. I'm going to just move. And it's not going to be perfect. We're going to have setbacks and, but we're just going to keep pushing. Yeah. And you know, until the only way this stops is if he stops it. Yeah, exactly. Like we were yeah. saying earlier, one day at a time. One exactly. day at a time. Yeah, one step at a time, one guest at a time, one yeah. interview at a time. And we'll see where that goes, you know, where it takes it. And, you know, um, it's open doors already for right. us, you know, in the boxing community, you know, um, you guys just had an interview with the manager, right? Yeah. Jerry. Do you know him? Do you know Jerry? Uh, no, I don't know. Well, I think I probably like you probably have, seen him. Yeah, I have yeah. seen him around, but never so really people. until your guys' interview actually. Yeah, so he's with uh, Jamal Herring. Um, they're both partners. Uh, they started up first to fight management. Okay. Uh, so obviously Jamal is still active fighting. Jamel. Jamel. Yeah, he handles Jamel and Jamal Herring <laughs> and uh, Jermaine Jamal, Ortiz. Jamal, Jamal, Jamal. Yeah. Just fought Dale. Yes. Right, and other other boxers are coming up. I, I believe he ha- he also has a female boxer that he's uh, pretty excited about, who's gonna make some some noise. Fun, funny story about Jerry is that we met him. So when it, he, it was actually in a fight after a fight, if I remember correctly. That's why that's why we were at that casino, the casino bicycle. We were there after a fight. Yeah, we had watched the fight. I don't know if it was, was maybe Conor McGregor. <laughs> and Mayweather. No, no, I was young back then. I oh, could okay. I could legally drink. I think. But yeah, we were at the bicycle casino. Yeah, have you been there, Bell Gardens? No? no, it's a cool casino. We were at the bar. That's where we met him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you could drink. If I was <laughs> sitting there, you could drink. But I don't think I was because those days I was with the Hadas and Nah, G, you were drinking. I don't think I was. <laughs> I think we we're lit. Anywho, we met him there. This is like seven years ago. Nah, I would say like five. <laughs> it was like seven years ago. He, he can't lit. do his math. He, he can't lit. do okay. his math. But the point is, uh, yeah, we stayed in touch since then. Really, mainly Victor and him, mm-hmm. and you know, we yeah. got him in here. And so, actually, we we can't release too much info, but we did a little bit of a deal with him and you know, and some of That's his fighters. Dope. So we're gonna have yeah. some content coming up. So yeah, that so should be cool. That's gonna be so. Dope. It's, yeah, it's yeah. crazy how like connections that were built five years, seven years ago are coming to light today. Yeah, for real. You know, and I think that's why it's very important to keep those relationships because you never know. Where it what, can lead you. Yeah, where it can lead you. Exactly. Yeah, I agree with that. I mean. And with Jerry, yeah, it was at the Bicycle Casino. We were just chopping it up and we exchanged Instagrams, numbers, and we always kept in contact. Mm-hmm. And then, matter of fact, it, he was, um. so we had a guest last week and he canceled on us. Mm-hmm. And Jerry was a last, I was, we were actually texting back and forth. Mm-hmm. And I was scheduling him for next month. And I just told him, hey, bro, you know what? Our guest just canceled. Would you be willing to come oh, tonight? he came in? And he came through. Oh, that says a lot about him, too. Yeah, sure. You up. know what, man? Jerry, um, I will, and I say this in the nicest way, but, like, looks can be deceiving. Because you look at Jerry, and he doesn't look like he does any of the things that he does. <laughs> really? I mean, look, to me, and, 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 and like, I, I love butt. Jerry. Yeah. I love Jerry. But you look at him, and I'm like, what? And then he's he's very eloquent. He's very smart. He has a high IQ for the game of boxing. I mean, I think you and him would have a great conversation. Been you guys, game for a while. He's very cool, very cool. And um, after the podcast, we hung out here in the lobby, and mm-hmm. he's a very good listener. He's just very good with people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We're in sales, so sales is about that. communication, Report, psychology, all of rapport. That. So it, you can tell what someone's genuinely interested. You can also tell when someone has an agenda. Yeah. They're yeah. just moving too quickly. They're like nodding their head. He's in the moment. He's listening to you. He mm-hmm. internalizes. And we were able to share some stories with him, and, you know, that really – Meant a lot afterwards when he approached us with a deal, mm-hmm. and it was like, "Oh, this motherfucker was listening." <laughs> yeah, and, that, and yeah. he cares, right. and he put everything into consideration. So, but he Jerry's came, a oh, dope guy. That. He came yeah. through on his word, or based on the conversation that we had. Uh, you know, like two days later, he he hit me up and uh, you know expressed pretty much everything that we talked about, yeah. which I was like, "Oh, damn!" Like you know, he's also not only is he a good listener, but he's a person of his word. You know, because right. a lot of people do a lot of talking. But they, they never, they never, they yeah, they don't, the actions yeah, they, they don't yeah. follow up with what they said, yeah. right? And Jerry, not nah, two days later, hit us up and then bam. That's you know, dope. Next thing you know, we're, we're locking in a deal. We're planning a, a trip next month and um, it's it's badass. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, I think when I when I met up with you for the coffee, you saw mm-hmm. us on the Zoom call yeah. there, uh, you know, doing like shirts now too and it's figuring just, out some stuff along with that. So, is it going to have a great year? Yeah, you <laughs> I'm know, just excited. God willing, God willing, yeah. And like I mean, you said, though, just step by step. Yeah. <laughs> What's funny is that we we don't 
We're not. We're not planning for any of it. <laughs> it's, it's just, just coming, happening. It's just coming to See, us. See, that's yeah. the thing too. Once you're in, like, being genuine, mm -hmm. good things just start happening. I do. I do want to touch on this though. Um, I don't know if you remember back in like the Primerica days, we would have like the client survey, and we would ask the clients like, "Hey, you know, if money wasn't an issue, what would your dream car look like? What would you travel, et cetera, like that?" Right. Mm -hmm. And I remember when that question was asked to me, and that's how I got recruited to the company. They asked me, yo, Vic, if money wasn't an issue, what would your dream life look like? What would you like to be doing? Mm -hmm. And I said, man, you know what? I would honestly like to be traveling to different training camps and interviewing these boxers mm -hmm. oh, and shit. just studying their mindset of what, how they prepare to go into a fight. Yeah. Fast forward today, you know, it's like, oh, shit. Like, you manifested it back we're, then. We're, crazy. <laughs> we're in the game. Yes. Yeah, I, was, I was actually talking uh, to my sister Rocio about that where I'm like, damn, like low key. Like I just said that not knowing where I would be at today. Yeah. But it, like Marla said, things are just, it just falls on us. But when you look back, you're just like, oh shit, like I, I said you this called back. It, I, yeah. yeah, I said this back in the days. But to be specific, I said I would like to see Canelo train, you know, <laughs> and study his mindset. He's still in the game. He's still in hey, the game. did you see that he's not with PBC yeah. no more? That's crazy. That so is he, crazy. He's signing, he's signing with Eddie think? Hearn. Yeah, what do you think is going to happen? Do you feel, let me ask you this, as a box, boxer reporter, do you feel that he's dodging Benavides? I mean, he could do whatever he wants. Canelo could do whatever he wants. He's the king. But, but hold king. on. But, the but I would like to see that fight. That uh -huh. was the fight I was hoping. I was really hoping it would be this. I thought it was going to happen the last fight with PBC because he had a three-fight deal with right, them. which he's no longer there. Yeah, so I don't Did know what's going to happen. Crawford also? On what? Uh, uh, he, he's out of his deal as well. Right, okay. I was about to say, yeah. I know. A lot of people like, are leaving PBC. Right. I should look into well, that. Well, I mean, yeah, should you should. You should look into that. that. <laughs> I mean, I think, you know, they're probably going downhill. But, yeah. um I, I don't I don't know how I feel about the Munguia fight. I, like Munguia's record is up there, forty three and o, uh, thirty two knockouts I yeah. believe. But I feel like his record is kind of pampered. Like he hasn't really had that experience. And if this fight is official with Canelo, I see Canelo knocking him out within six rounds. Yeah, you know what fight I would have liked to see that I wouldn't have been mad at Munguia with Benavides, and then the winner gets Canelo. That'd be dope. I mean that'd be dope cool. because they they both test each that other out. That could happen. Yeah. You know still. Maybe. Well, no, I mean, Benavides is with PBC, right? Yeah. And Munguia's with... Uh, Golden Boy, I believe. And Golden Sanford. Boy. So Sanford. they can't... But yeah. they Sanford can still Boy, fight like even that. if they're... I guess it's harder, though, like the negotiations, because now you're doing cross-promotions. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Um, There's some promoters that are willing to work with each other, but if it's like a high risk, it's, yeah. they want the belt in the house. Exactly. Yeah. They want to have a champion. That makes sense. Yeah. But we'll see. Hopefully, um, I have faith. I have faith that maybe Canelo... I uh, will announce the Benavides fight in September. I did see Benavides is going to move up to 175. Mm -hmm. So we'll see how it goes there. I mean, he's a big dude. He's. I feel like he can even go up to heavyweight. Yeah, low like, key. yeah when I see him, dude. he looks bigger he's than huge. Canelo. Matter of fact, talking about Benavides, you interviewed him. I did. That was yeah. actually, I was so nervous for that one because I had to do it in Spanish. I was uh -huh. with. I was working with Telemundo for that one. Uh -huh. Um, and they gave me the opportunity. Well, the the sports reporter did his interview. That was mm -hmm. for the network and stuff. And he's like, do you want to ask him questions? And I was like, yeah. Hell yeah. So I was with the <laughs> Telemundo thing. And then at first it was all Spanish. So I was choking up because I know Spanish, but all these years talking English, you know. You got to like warm borderline, up the tongue. Borderline no sabo in a yeah. way. <laughs> but then the after Spanglish. that, yeah. But then after that, I ended up asking some in English. Mm -hmm. But I couldn't really post the full interview because I had the Telemundo and like the Telemundo mic. So Telemundo mic talking English, like it just didn't, oh, it didn't make go sense. Together. Yeah. Okay. So I only posted like one question. But what if fun. you um do you do anything to like uh improve your Spanish or get back like do you practice? Well, you I mean, I'm at work, I'm just in a Spanish environment, so doing that and then at home just talking Spanish with my grandpa. Yeah. yeah. And I'm reading reading articles in Spanish. That was your lot. first language, yeah. right? Spanish? Yeah. Okay, so it's yeah. already in there. You just gotta. Should we switch to Spanish right now? Should we just finish this interview in Spanish? Hit us with a Spanish line real quick. Quieres, quieres hacerlo? Okay, vamos. Lo podemos hacer. Podemos okay. hablar en español. Es, Nunca hemos hablado en español. Uh, we gotta have a Spanish guest for that. Uh, she speaks Spanish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Siempre hay una no, primera no, vez para, para uh -huh. todo. That's what I'm saying. We <laughs> could just What's switch your, this uh, thing. Opening line in Telemundo. Hit us with your opening line. Hola, ¿Qué? buenas tardes, Cristina. ¿Qué tal, amigos? Soy Cristina. ¿Qué tal, amigos? Yeah. <laughs> ¿Qué tal, amigos? Soy Cristina con Telemundo 52. Okay. Should be Fashion. like... Little, little by little. ¿Qué tal, plebes? ¿Qué tal, plebes? <laughs> ¿Cómo andamos? ¿Qué tal, plebes? ¿Qué onda, carnales? ¿Cómo estamos? Yeah. That's cool. That's uh, funny. Yeah. So, I mean, you speak Spanish at home, then? Yes. Okay. Everybody, F mostly. Mexican, right? 
Fully Mexican, w- yeah. W- what part of Mexico is it? So you? my mom is from Michoacan and my dad's from Guanajuato. Guanajuato. I've okay. never been to Guanajuato though. I've always go. wanted to go. Yeah. 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 Well, we'll connect it to Gio Cabrera. Okay. Uh, I've only Guanajuato. been to. <laughs> Only been to TJ. TJ's fun though. There was a really TJ's good spot. Really They're really good Chinese food. Have you been to Hong Kong? Wow. I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> I have not been to Hong Kong. Yeah, have you heard you know, of it? Yeah, I've heard of it. Wow. Shrimp fried <laughs> rice. My God. My what God. What are you doing there? Right. No, it's funny. I was. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny one time we went to tj and we were walking down the street and i was with my grandma my mom and my little sister just walking out of nowhere and then out of nowhere we see like just girls dressed like provocative mm-hmm. and we're just like what's going on and music the playing music playing we're right. like it's bright day like what's going on my gra- grandma she like it went through, through her head she's like oh, we're in this Dios street mio. yeah oh yeah wow. she was like she was like oh my god we got to get out of here like, all this stuff. yeah it was funny <laughs> well, shit, but funny. yeah they were working but nah bro you've been to cancun no cancun's fun yeah, yeah but yeah but that's like that's like tourist you, you wouldn't yeah. consider that mexico yeah I mean, that's not mexico techni- i'm not yeah. talking about like like, like uh, guadalajara Sinaloa, michoacan like i'm yet to go to guanajuato but it's on my list i actually have an aunt that lives out there uh but they say that they have like a mummy museum there. Yeah. Like real yeah. real mummies. Where is this? In Guanajuato. Guanajuato. Yeah. But uh, Jalisco, one of my favorite places. I'm actually going this uh, in May this year, Carreyes, uh, okay. south southeast of um, Jalisco. Mm-hmm. Very beautiful. You're like on top of the mountain, the beach, all that. You've been there already? No, no. I'm going this year. Mm-hmm. Uh, just learning more, you know, like I, I, I clown one of my boys, a good friend, childhood friend. He's going to hate me for this shit. <laughs> and, but he denies What's it. What's right? his name? You know, you know him he lives in arizona we've been to his house oh joe okay yeah. <laughs> but uh I, I find it funny that you know there's a lot of um people that claim claim to be mexican and they got like oh like like for example you know with keith thurman saying like oh tim zoo what you gonna do mm-hmm. mexican zoo and they get like very offended but these people number one don't speak spanish yeah number two have never been to mexico so i'm like what you wild up about yeah. you know like have you even been to Mexico? Do you even know your culture, your exactly. roots, and all that? Like, into and into you go to Mexico and you learn your culture, mm-hmm. then you could, in my opinion, you could stand up for for Mexicans or like be a little more prideful on that. Right. Like, how is it that like I, every year I go to Mexico? I've been to Tijuana. I've been to everywhere like Guadalajara, Cancun, uh, Sonora, Mexico. That's where my family's from. Yeah. And like. That shit didn't bug me. Like, it shouldn't get you wild up like that. But, like, you know, it's funny. It's both Joes, actually. Joe and Joe Ray, you know. <laughs> it's like, bro, like. Wait, I'm sorry. Maybe I missed. But are you saying, like, people that haven't gone back to the culture, they don't know Spanish, like, they shouldn't. They feel it more personal? They, they take it more personal yeah. than an actual. You feel actual, like, you that's, feel like that's actual. fake? Or what's your, what's your issue with that? There's no issue. I just find it funny where it's like, bro, like, you don't even know your roots, you know. So mm-hmm. what you're getting worked up about? But wild up about like I get it, you know. But there's Mexicans that don't listen to that and don't even take that person on that. Side. I feel like a lot mm. of Mexicans they won't take it seriously. Mm. Yeah, yeah, straight up. Interesting, yeah. interesting. So I, I'd be clowning Joe. I'd be like, damn, bro, you got all the Mexican jerseys. You got you root for all the Mexicans, all that. But you ain't ever even been. To Has Mexico. he had the opportunity to go? Because there's yeah, a, there's some I'm opportunity. Sure right, that, you he's know? Had, but he he's never gone. Maybe mm. maybe it's that fact that like they've never been. They don't speak the language, so they gotta find a way to mm. stand up. That's a good that's, way to, to have some pride. Too. Yeah. I never that's, thought of that's it. That's like why he's that. my business partner. You, know, you guys balance each other. You know I see saying? that. Okay. <laughs> You see, I'm getting myself say. into some trouble right now, and he's finding. To- <laughs> I got, I got you, Joes, both, both Joes. <laughs> yeah, but uh, no, Mexico is a beautiful place. You know, um, I have a goal to like visit every state in Mexico. Mm-hmm. They're actually building a train. Um, I don't know if you saw that video there. Well, when I was in Tulum, they talked oh, about the, a train and they're, they in had the just, airport. Yeah, they just built the, the yeah. airport. Really? Yeah, no, Mexico's on the come up right now. Have you been to Tulum, any of those? Yeah, I've been to Tulum. You had a good time? It was fun. We went for my friend's, yeah. (laughs) We went for my friend's birthday in 2021. Uh It was fun. We went to, well, we stayed in Cancun and then we went to Tulum. Same. And then we came back, yeah. They're so close. It's super close. Did you do Excaret? Did you do all that? Uh, That was, I done excaret but that was when i went with my family one time okay this was a different time i didn't gotcha. do excaret it's huge it's beautiful yeah it's I, gorgeous. It looks so good. Should, I should have done it i definitely got to run cancun back when i went uh so what i learned is cancun if you do go go to like the resorts like there's so many things to do in the resorts what we did we got like an airbnb mm-hmm. outside of the resorts so you were far we were far yeah. yeah and if we wanted to do things it's more out of pocket like the resorts things like 
because all the clubs are right there by yeah, the resort. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So I had a whole different experience while my shot got. Did you do that place? Um, what's it called? Where uh, it's it's insane. Um, it's like a circus show, kinda. Um, it's leaving my mind right now, but they party till like four a.m. I mean, you've been to Cancun, we, right? Yeah. You're like, I mean, well, I, mean, I party to no, like no, but, there's, but there's one <laughs> like, place. I remember party to. <laughs> uh, there's one place though that like, um, I, I mean, they they're they're, they're, they they're impersonators. Uh-huh. Like they come out and they mm. there's like a fucking like a stage in the middle and you're kind of it's like a ring kind of oh, and shit. you're did you does that no, ring a bell on maybe no. you didn't do it. I'll get the name sure. for okay, you yeah. but that was quite an experience like that was a party really? that shit was crazy yeah like they just went hard have you been to Guadalajara though. Guadalajara, just to the airport. Just, airport? <laughs> just to the airport to like to, to go to Michoacan. Mm-hmm. But I haven't been to, to Guadalajara. Gotcha. I was going to recommend this place in te- uh, Tequila, Mexico, uh, Cantaritos El Güero, but um, I was actually, I recently heard that they closed down or they were closed. So hopefully they're able to reopen that. But that place gets go. lit. Yeah, like, I need there's to go banda to Jalisco, everywhere. They give you like these big um cantaritos. Who's your guys' soccer team? For, team? for your family, yeah. Like, um, are, are you guys not big on soccer? Not really. My my uncle Robert's really big on America. He loves America. Uh, yeah, you know, he loves oh. America. But I mean, I yeah, don't really know. Because Mexicans, it's like boxing that. or football. Yeah. But it, obviously, you guys are more boxing. But since I work with the Le Mundo, I guess they're with Chivas. The mm, Le Mundo's like the know. Chivas network. So get out of there. No, he's ha- he has a little beef with me right now. With yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ideally, which. Uh, you should go to work one day with America jersey. Damn. Imagine yeah. Make a I get fired Next yeah You'll get an email Sorry Christina We don't need you anymore <laughs> But uh, who who would you Ideally like to work with Like I, I, and I don't know If that's something you Like a network or Sure promotion. yeah Network would, Like are you talking ESPN ESPN like would be dope Top mm-hmm. rank would be dope Um Top rank, honestly, because yeah. ever since Christina, because she works for top rank, so there that's been the that's been yeah. in the back of my mind. Top what rank is or she, ESPN? That's like a milestone for you mm-hmm. there, huh? I'm sure you've brought it up to her, like, hey, what I got to do to work with top rank? She could probably get you in the door. Probably. Yeah. yeah. Have you asked her that? I haven't. You should okay. I should ask her. <laughs> you know what you should do one day, and I and I highly encourage this for anybody. Uh, take some, take them out to lunch. Take him out to lunch. <laughs> on a, yeah, why are you laughing, G? It's <laughs> funny. The way he sets shit up is so funny. That he's like, you know what we used to do when they just buy them some lunch, buy them some tacos. Like, nah, it goes but I feel way. it. I know it, where it you're going with way. this. I, I've, with this. I've, I've done that a lot, of, a lot, and it's worked for me where I genuinely take people out to lunch mm-hmm. and I just have a conversation with them, get to know them more, and break that ice of who I am too right. so they kind of have an idea and uh, just learn from them, pick their brain, and then, you know, people – People respect that because they see that you're hungry right. for the knowledge. Yeah. And they remember you where it's like, Christina, oh, shit, like, hey, Christina just graduated. She got her, her bachelor's or degree. Like, oh, she puts in a good word for you. Like, I remember this girl, you know, from Back what, then. <laughs> sophomore year of high school. Yeah. And she's pursued everything. And, you know, people yeah. respect that. That's true. We, um, there was a moment earlier where you said uh, for the HBO legend that you sent him an email. I don't know if you saw, but we looked at each other. and We, we, we got a boy. Um, where we actually interviewed uh, Tim Tim Martin. He's a producer, mm-hmm. and um, he actually did the same thing. He's from Chicago. He emailed. Do you remember the guy's name? Well, his whole thing was like we were, we're picking his brain. This okay. kid is very unique where his story, I mean, you know, we all have difficulties, but for me personally, I don't know about you, but what stood out is that like he's been this this kid's been making the right moves from such a young age okay you look at my life my biography i'm making hella wrong moves like i'm just <laughs> fucking up here i'm fucking up here this That's kid me. was like right it's yeah. like mo- you know but this kid Getting was like in high school very tim was like okay i can't drink because i don't want i'm like shit i'm mm-hmm. drinking right now yeah like, so yeah. but one of the things we asked him is like bro how do you make this happen for yourself mm-hmm. and he's like bro you just email them Something as simple as a fucking email. Like, we think it's so complicated. I'm never going to see. Where am I going to meet him? But you it's did that. super easy. Yeah. I didn't even know, like, where, where I was going. And Did your professor so- advise you to email? Or you were just like, let me just well, email Yeah, him? well, they told us, because she was explaining how we have it so easy now. Because we can literally just Google someone and all of their information is there. Back then, journalists had to go to their places, Big. like, make telephone mm-hmm. calls. Like, we're spoiled right. in a way. Right. So... 
I don't know. For some reason, when she said that, I was like, okay, might as well just go big. Like, mm. go big or go home, Jim you know? Lanzi, yeah, so I was like, Jim... Mike? Actually, no, the very first one was Max Kellerman. Okay. I thought of Max Kellerman. Damn. I was like, okay, I'm gonna yeah. see if I can get cool. Max Is he Kellerman. Is still doing uh, the show with Stephen A? No, no. Right? Uh, no, I don't think he's working with no, I think he got fired, yeah, actually. Got fired. Shit, yeah. yeah, I mean, he was big with HBO. Yeah. I totally forgot about him. But yeah, so yeah. that was the first one. I couldn't find any emails with <laughs> him, though. Like, he's very... Private? Yeah. But surprisingly... I saw him one time at a got a He probably got a target on his back, that's why. Probably, yeah. But Jim Lampley's was there, and it was just like because he's a school teacher now mm. in North Carolina, I believe. I didn't know that. Okay. Um, so it was his school email, mm. and I was like, "Oh, this, this is probably even fake." Like, but I'm gonna just try it yeah. out, see what happens. And then, like two days later, he responded. Damn. So, How'd you feel when he responded? I was like, so what? excited. I yeah. was. Oh man, I couldn't believe it. So here, here's two questions for you, Christina. Um, what what would be your advice to someone that wants to become a, a journal uh, sports journalist? Mm-hmm. And um, two would be. Who some who's somebody that you would like to interview in the future? Like that you're like, man, I, if I lock this interview in, this would be dope, or uh, my career could take off. Okay, so the first question, mm-hmm. I would say, just do it. Don't be afraid. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's a saying that says, the best things in life are on the opposite side of fear. So mm-hmm. just mm-hmm. Right. just go ahead and it's get facts. over it. Mm-hmm. Get over it, and then just go ahead and, and do it. Mm-hmm. Um, and then pause someone, right there. Sorry, I just okay. gotta. Can I pick your brain a little yeah. more? How do you do it? When you see something like fuck, that's you know what I'm that's saying. Scary, you're, pe- people you start sweating. It's scary, even even like going to press conference and stuff. I'm by myself because right. I'm just like, oh damn, yeah. like what am I gonna do? And it's like, a lot of men. Yeah, it's scary. It's honestly. Do you really see a scary. lot of other girl journalists? There's like, a there's a there's few. A few. Yeah, there's okay. a few journalists. Um, and it's pretty cool because now they know me. So I'm like, okay, cool. Right. Like, this I'm getting girl, Snow Snow Queen LA. Yeah. Yes, I What's was just with her. Do you know her ethnicity? I think she's Russian. I think she's Russian. Her name's Christina, too. (laughs) Christina's are just, you guys are, it's a journalist. If you're a Christina, get into journalism ASAP. We just solved your, you're wondering what to do with your life journalism. (laughs) Um, But yeah, what like mindset, like what do you Mm. tell yourself? What do you, how do you push through? Because one thing I'm kind of picking up from you is that like, you're bold. Like, oh, really? Yeah, because <laughs> you, you've, there's two things you said where, like, number one, they gave you, que- Telemundo gave you questions, and you were kind of like, nah, like, I'm yeah. going to go for something bigger. Yeah. One. And then two, for this project that I go interview someone, you're like, might as well go big. Yeah. You fucking do this. <laughs> Jim Lanzi. So, what do you tell yourself? Like, what? Because we're all different. Like, mm-hmm. I know for me, I what I tell myself, but I'm curious like, for you. I honestly just don't think about it. I just yeah. do it. Straight I don't up. know. <laughs> I'm, I'm honestly, thing. I'm the biggest airhead you can meet. Like, I don't really think <laughs> about stuff. I just do it. Yeah. Just I, in the moment, I, I guess. Yeah. Yo, <laughs> I'm I, seriously, I can to that I'm 100%. the biggest airhead. Oh my god! The other day, my cousin, she, she's pregnant, right? I don't pregnant, believe right? that, but it's funny. She, she ended up pregnant, so she was like, she, she ended up us. pregnant just yes. randomly. No, so. she has a she has a boyfriend. <laughs> she has a boyfriend. The way you said it, she so, ended up pregnant. See, I'm telling you, I'm an airhead. I don't <laughs> think about. I'm messing with you. I'm messing with you. I'm messing with you. Anyway, so she FaceTimed us to tell us, and she the way she respond back. We told you we'd clown you. The way she she gave out the news was like a little like a lottery ticket like Mm -hmm. i'm pregnant like all this stuff i'm having a baby i thought it was an actual lottery ticket Mm -hmm. because it had the 777 like the amount of money she's gonna get i was like you won the lottery (laughs) (laughs) but no i didn't read it says i'm having a baby and i was like oh shit it reminds me when when my sister liz actually um told told my dad she was having a baby too it took me like two minutes to like Mm -hmm. fully read even him like i was just like i read the whole thing i'm like Oh shit! You're pregnant. <laughs> what did she give you guys? Um, your letter. It was um, I think it was like a baby shirt, and it said a oh, baby shirt. A shirt of and a you, baby. Yeah, <laughs> one or the other. See a lottery <laughs> ticket, I get him, but yeah. a baby shirt. The, the, you know what? You know the little. It's okay. Whatever yeah. babies wear. Yeah. I forgive you. I and forgive uh, you. I think it said um, uh, congratulations. You're about to be a grandpa or something mm. like that. But I like read everything. Did your dad I, it cry? It didn't click it. He got emotional. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Did. It, it didn't click till after. But huh? to to kind of piggyback on you, um, I don't I don't find myself to be the sharpest um, knife. Mm-hmm. But one thing that I've always told myself is that action action kills anxiety. So if you're thinking too much, that means you're not doing much. Yeah. But if you're taking action, action is going to open doors for you. Yeah. Uh, where next you know you got to. Shit, you got an interview with this person. You met this person, and people, I feel like, let that fear stop them. Yeah, and they get too much in their head. But what is it? What about this? What about that? 
It's like, yo, bro, just go for it. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, that's basically my thing. I just don't think about stuff. Mm -hmm. I just do it. Straight up. Mm -hmm. I think it. Uh, what you said earlier is really good too. Where and it's very true. Where a lot of people don't start because they want yeah. things to be perfect. Mm -hmm. I and the thing is, like, you're good. never gonna have the perfect time right. for anything. Like, it's never gonna be the well, time. Well, it, it's it. it's actually very easy to like figure this shit out. And here's and here's what I mean is like nobody is perfect. Yeah, nobody's perfect. And and we talked about it with um with Tyler, where like editing and all this shit. This shit is a cheat code because we could you know we could fuck up the whole time mm -hmm. but our editors and, the, and you're doing clean some production up. work yeah. so yeah. you're learning this but it, they can make us look crispy clean exactly. mm -hmm. so no I, one will know how many takes it to right right, right, yeah. right. and then same thing with with acting with movies yeah. everything looks oh my god but it's like you don't know how many times exactly. you which, know which tyler brought that to my attention because i you know we had that tournament you I went through I that yeah. yeah i was fucking up on my lines mm -hmm. a lot i was a little buzzed too i shouldn't have drank that much <laughs> but uh he, he brought something to my attention we said look man when you see jake paul yeah you see him he, he looks dope he's saying all these things but mm -hmm. you don't know how many times he he recorded that That's you know he he might be at a point now where he could just do one take but you don't know the behind the scenes where i and i thought about that i was like oh shit you're right you're like yeah. Yeah, yeah like i could fuck up 20 more times and i'm gonna get one right yeah. and there's only one way to get better and that's just, just, keep, just, doing to, it. just keep doing Stay it consistent exactly mm -hmm. but sorry your second question oh my second <clears throat> question uh who would i like to interview yeah who, who's somebody uh, it doesn't have to be boxing i mean obviously that's like your mm -hmm. your role there but i would like to interview max max keller yeah because i mean Yo, I, I wanted to max if you're watching yeah. this <laughs> email us yes what's your email <laughs> yeah, i can't find email? it on come Google. back to life max where are you stop hiding, hiding. Somewhere. yes yeah. i would like to interview him because i mean <clears throat> I was already trying to get that interview mm -hmm. for my very first one, but what would you like to ask him? What would you ask him actually? Tell him right there. Why did? What is he doing now? Yeah. What's he <laughs> I don't up know. To? Yeah. Uh, Max, how are you doing? You doing all right? You let Stephen A. Kick don't let the show? ESPN get to your head, dog. Right. Well, there's a lot more networks potential. out I'm there. Kidding. Yeah, you got a lot of potential. Got a lot of potential. You got a lot of fans. <laughs> okay, so please let us know that you're doing well and hit up our girl Christina. Man, come on, dog. She's got a dream. It'd be him, and I. I'd like to interview Tank. Tank, Tank, Tank. is cool. You're gonna get Tank. Yeah. I hope you will. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're you're getting you're working your way yeah. up there. Just, yeah. Ten one of the events. Why yeah. Tank though? What's what what? Just I just like yeah. He's I love his style. He's dope. His style of fighting. He's he's little, he's, huh? Yeah. He's tiny. He's like five two. Probably, probably your height. Um, <laughs> probably. Right, Chris, right. <laughs> I'm five one. <laughs> <laughs> I was just. I'll tell you. <laughs> five seven. Stop saying that with pain. We all laugh too. <laughs> we're 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 good friends. Is what we are. Yeah. Um. Okay. Yeah. Tank is cool. Tank is uh. He's dope. What about? Have you gotten? Uh, have you gotten Roly? I did. did. Wait, did you get Roly? Oh my yeah. god! He caught me so off guard though. That was my first time ever interviewing Roly's him. Funny, that was, that was a weird interview. It was so weird. Like, I don't Bro, know. He like said his some sexual shit. Like, oh, we're, oh, he was hitting person, on you? No, no, oh. no, no, no. no. Okay, okay. But in my way, I was just, no, I love him. Like, don't get me wrong. He's funny as hell. He's but funny. the way I look at it, I was like, well, how are you talking to a girl like that? You know? Like, what do you say? Um, Because I asked him I'm, about I'll watch Arnold. It, but I'd, yeah, because yeah. I asked him something about Arnold Barboza, how they were going back and forth. And I was like, hey, like, what happened? And he just brought up, he's like, Arnold Barboza was just mad that something happened, like, between them. Oh, mm. what was that? Oh, he's and like then, a shorty or something? No, no oh, okay, like, okay. I don't even... Just some past Yeah, it's just... Yeah. Okay, okay. He just went overboard. And I was just like, I was just caught off guard. I was like, what the fuck? Was, and then right there, I ended it. I was like, okay, you're not going to talk to me like that. Yeah. I was like, okay, any last message to the fans? And then he just said, they can go fuck themselves. <laughs> and I was like, okay, viral. If you don't mind me asking, I got I got to know. But what did he tell you, though? He was just... What did he say? Something, bro, if I remember correctly, he was just like, oh, he's just mad because I got a bigger dick than him. Something like, around oh, those okay. lines, like my dick or some shit like that. Yeah, I was like damn, bro, like you know. You yeah, know. that's why I was just like, okay, I'm gonna end this here because I don't want people talking to me like that. So, right, right. Especially me going into this field, like mm -hmm. I want a little respect, you know. Well, yeah. not a little. I want respect. That's yeah. What, yeah. So I was well, just you know, like, just, okay. just show some manners, some yeah, respect. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Well, good for you to stand your ground yeah. as well. But I love him. Like he's funny. That's his personality. So I mm -hmm. get it. But at the same time, it's Rolly's like, bro, come weird, on. man. <laughs> he's funny, but he's weird. He's true missing. 
it's did funny. you I, I know we've talked about it but you've seen his whole like uh what he's revealed about With him Dale? and Dale. Like, oh yeah i saw yeah. i saw that interview actually yeah it was yeah. i think that's the most serious and calm i've seen him and like super he was chill actually, in that interview and I kind of side more with Roly on that. Like, assuming everything is true, obviously, mm. there's a side to every story. Right. But, like, damn. Like, I can see that playing out, you know, mm. where Roly was for him. And from what I see from Dell, his corner, his team. I mean, a lot of yes men. they're doing an excellent job, sure. But, you know, at the same time, it's a little, no, little you know, bit. There's a little bit of chaos there, too. Right. So yeah. On some real shit, though, you got to pray for that kid, Tail. You know, like, so for somebody to... Say he thought about killing himself. Like we don't know what he's really going through, you know. Yeah, and once you start of, making that room. kind of money, you have the spotlight. It's very so, easy for yeah. us to like sit here and talk, but exactly. it's different to actually be that guy right. going it's through a lot it. Of yeah. pressure. a lot of pressure. People don't know about. Exactly. Um, Christina, what are some things you've learned, like going into journalism with boxers and boxing? I guess, like, I'm curious, like, obviously, I'm sure you had expectations of, mm -hmm. like, oh, because you grew up around it, you saw something, but what's been, I guess, a few, maybe one or two, or the most surprising thing that as you're going through this journey that you just didn't expect, maybe part of the job, you know, mm -hmm. like, what would, or if anything, um, that has kind of, like, shocked you, and you've had to make, like, an adjustment for me, the shocking thing is, like, fighters are actually willing to talk. <laughs> okay. Because for some reason, like, going into interviews, I would be like, oh, man, they're not going to want to talk. Like, they're not going to want to do this. They're not going to want to do that. Maybe I thought it was, like, their ego or something. But, mm -hmm. no, they're actually really chill. Mm -hmm. They're very honest people. Right. Uh, they're just, they're doing their job. Like so we that's a good earlier. thing, then. Yeah. Okay. Another thing is, like, um, what else have I learned? That's good for us to know because we're we're going to be, I mean, we've interviewed some already, but as we're like progressing this deal, that's something that we're kind of like, damn, like this next person that we're going to take a trip to go film through Jerry, right? Mm -hmm. It's going to be yeah. our biggest guest thus far. Okay. Right. So we're kind of like, yeah, but we've seen his interviews, right? Mm -hmm. And and he seems I very humble. I think you've interviewed him as well. Who? Uh, we, we can... We'll okay, 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 okay. Yeah, 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 technically the contract that we <laughs> signed. Well, actually, right. it hasn't been signed. So we have we have Jamel Herring coming up. Okay, Semper I haven't five. interviewed him. I've met him, but I haven't oh, interviewed him. Oh, I thought you oh, interviewed okay. him. I thought no. I've seen one. My no. bad. Yeah, so we've got him coming up. I mean, you that's know. That's going to be a dope one. He's super chill. He seems well, very chill. That's what chill. I've heard. Yeah, that's what I've heard. Yeah, and he's got a great background. And the interviews I've seen, he's, he's a Marine, too. Mm -hmm. so Semper Fi, decorated Marine. Yeah, so we're going to tap on that. For sure. So, yeah, we got we got a nice little game plan with him. It's going to um, be dope, though, a whole different experience. Like, we're going to, you know, take the cameras, go out over there to Vegas and um, see him in a camp, you know. Yeah. So, again, kind of like what I said years ago, mm -hmm. I'm, uh, it's manifesting now. I didn't know that, bro. That was... Uh, yeah, not some real some, shit. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. Shit. Yeah, and it wasn't like, you know, I think... Uh, shit. You're welcome, man. I'm making your dreams come true. <laughs> You're making it? Yeah. <laughs> no. That's funny. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> But it, it was just, um, it was an epiphany. I was driving around and uh, it just, I was reflecting and I was like, oh shit, like I actually said this and now it's happening. It's happening. Uh, but on that note, man, I just want to tell anybody like, uh, you know, if you got a dream, you just keep going. No, That's my camera, right? Yeah. <laughs> just keep going. Like, and I, and I, a dream is just an idea unless you take action towards it. And, uh, you know, life is going to throw you obstacles. You don't know where you're going, but Keep having that faith and keep moving forward and just surround yourself with the right type of people, people that are like minded um, and just share, share what you share, what you got. You never know who's going <clears> to <throat> have the same vision as you or who's watching or who's watching. And here we are, you know, like <clears throat> I, I'm sure people that know me still don't believe what I'm doing. Like yeah. when I say, yo, I'm, I'm you know, I'm going to meet this person. They're just kind of like, how? Yeah. How, how did this happen? And I also have people that. When I'm in the gym, they come up to me and, and they say, hey, yo, Vic, I watched the Marvick Productions. Keep doing your thing. And, you know, that that gives me more inspiration yeah. and more uh, motivation. Where I'm like, damn, I actually got people that are watching me that exactly. are hitting me up and telling me. So, you know, and for me, that means a lot because I'm from Cudahy, California. It's a small city in the southeast of L.A., uh, you know, in the middle of Bell and Southgate. People don't know Cudahy, yeah. you know, and I feel like I, I'm – I'm, I'm being that person that's going to really put us on the map and talk about our journey and stuff. So, um, you know, I feel like I, I'm, I'm an example now. Yeah. I got to really just 
walk that way. You, get, you that. are you gonna get a cut of hay tatted on your back? Nah, but <laughs> I'll probably get a, a shirt that says, you know, made in cut of hay or something. I like that. I like yeah. that. That's not cool. Like, like you know, there, there's young younger kids that they're, they're younger than me, but they've seen me. Exactly. Like they know me. We used to box together in yeah. the same gym, and they're watching my shit, and they're just. No, yeah, it's always a good feeling even, when people go, come up to you. Because even at yeah. the at Jermaine's fight, Jermaine and Theo's fight, there was some journalists that came up to me. They're like, "Keep up the good work." And I'm like, gonna, "I've yeah. never met you, but thank you so much." I was gonna ask right. you about yeah. that like, support. Have, it's so cool. Have you gotten people like when you're walking around that recognize you in the time? Yeah, hey, you're the, you know, there's so there's been reporter. a few fans actually that uh -huh. have they were like, "Can I get a picture?" And I was like, "Wait, what with yeah, me?" Yeah, like okay. <laughs> have you had a Christina come up to you though? Like a younger Christina. No. Hey, my name's Christina. No. How do I do this? No. If she goes to <laughs> Long Beach. That would come, be cool. Though. That would be cool. It, it, That'd be it's freaky. It's going to come. Mm -hmm. It's going to come. And guess what? You're That'd gonna be freaky, you yeah. said? <laughs> yeah. Don't you think? Like, you you met Christina. You have the same spelling. You guys went to the same school. Different spelling. Different spelling but oh, it's, different. It's, it's unique. We're both unique. Yeah. The, a unique spelling. Yours is with you two Ys. My name is spelled K-R-I-S-T-Y-N-A. And mm -hmm. then Christina Pontres is spelled C R Y S T I N A. So they're to the switch. Yeah. Gotcha. Nah, but I mean, you're going to be able to pay that movement forward when a Christina does That'd come up cool. to you. That'd be cool. Yeah. That'd be that, dope. That life is a full circle. <laughs> Literally. Mm -hmm. Life is a full circle. I like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. How are we doing on time, G? It's 8.32. A minute 20. We got 10 minutes because we can't. Not that we don't want to, but mm -hmm. files get too big. Oh, yeah. This is first of many either way. So um, I get. I think he asked you this earlier, but yeah, I mean, anybody, you know, that's wanting to, you know, maybe follow in your footsteps or maybe not just with boxing. Do you have any but, sisters or brothers? Yeah, I'm the oldest. Oh, my God. I was that's, just actually thinking that, about yeah. this in the, What's in the car. What's are you from again? I'm from Oxnard. There you go. Shout I'm from Oxnard. Oxnard. Shout out Oxnard. Yeah. Born and raised. There it is. Um. But yeah, I'm the oldest, mm -hmm. and then my I have a full sister. She's 19. Mm -hmm. She's gonna be 20 in September. And then when my parents got divorced, my dad got a different family. And then with them, I have a younger sister. She's I believe 11 or 12. Mm -hmm. And then I have twin brothers. Twin mm -hmm. brothers. Twin brothers. Oh shit. They're about eight or nine. Uh, half, half, right? Yeah, they're half. Okay. Same Any of them into boxing? Nah, they're oh. they're really into soccer right now. Okay. Yeah. So you nailed it. Soccer. Boxing. They yeah, think, yeah, <laughs> literally. But that's cool. Like your sister, uh, I'm sure she's seeing you do your thing, and mm -hmm. that's. Uh, I'm sure you're making the family proud. It's, it's tough though, being What's, the oldest, trying to like set the example. It's. I mean, you're on the right track though. I mean, wh what you're doing isn't easy, but mm -hmm. it's also inspiring. Yeah. You know? What's your family think about your whole journalism, you know, journey so far? Are they do are they supportive? They're supporting a lot. Yes, Good. I've. I'm. Really thankful for all their support. Like even with with my uncle, they're helping me get camera time with the pod with their podcast. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, they've been they've been really supporting me. That's dope. They're how do you, how do you do you do it on with your phone, your own podcast? It's just through Zoom. It's oh. just through Zoom with theirs with theirs. Yeah, got you. Mm -hmm. I mean, they live in River. They're not too far from you, right? They're not far. No. Uh, yeah. No, I'm day. sorry. I meant for yours for oh, your for channel. Mine. Do you have a special ca or just? So I actually phone? just got a microphone. Nice. <laughs> I was I was that using goes the a long way. Yeah. Huh? The portable? Oh, you mean an actual? An actual mic, yeah. Nice. So last year when I started, I was doing the lavaliers, the little mm -hmm. little tiny mics. Mm -hmm. Um, I just started with that. All of last year I was using that, and then this year I actually got a like a camera, a tripod, and microphone. Slowly so this, moving this, on up. Yeah, those fight go. was the first fight that I actually covered it with a microphone. That's dope. So I was like, oh. Are you're you're setting your money aside, obviously, yes. and you're saving. Yes. and Got to reinvest. Yes. Very I actually, yeah, I actually just asked um, my uncle Mikey about investing because I want to do something with my money. Man, you and Mikey gotta, you know, get like this. He close. told he told me a little bit, so I'm starting to get like into like financial books. Like Mikey, get, Mikey's, Mikey's like, into yeah. real estate. Yeah, yeah, I know really he's got a lot of homes. There's a video like on YouTube yeah. where he shares his homes and his mm -hmm. mindset and how he puts a lot of money into yeah. that. He's but even before, kid. even before boxing, correct me if I'm wrong, but Mikey was uh, going through like the police academy and all that. Yeah, he, he wanted to be yeah. a sheriff, and mm -hmm. boxing was kind of just like a side thing. He did it because he was good. Yeah, he and you know he was good. knocking people out. He was he was dope. Yeah. How do we how do we get Mikey on this podcast? I can ask him. He'll probably he'll probably say yeah. I mean, because I feel like outside of Mayweather. This Mikey, you know, he he's not like flashy like Mayweather like mm -hmm. that. But Mikey, financially, as a boxer after retirement, is doing well. Yeah, you know, he's in the real estate he knew game. How to and, invest his money, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And I mean that house that where he has the ranch and all that. Look, yeah. tell him, tell him we'll get him, uh, we'll get him another house. <laughs> <laughs> 
A yeah, little nah. bit of an incentive. Well, what's a book he recommended to you? Well, no, well, he was telling me like the steps on what I could do with mm-hmm. my, with my with my money. Mm-hmm. Um, he was basically saying he named Blackstone. I don't know if you guys have heard of Blackstone. It's I've like heard of Yellowstone. Real estate, real estate stuff. No. Blackstone. No. Okay, so basically it'll be like I'll invest my money into like real estate mm-hmm. and I don't know how to, how to really explain it, but basically I'll be getting like, like monthly income passive from it. income yeah, type exactly. of thing yeah so dividends it pays I dividends. think so yeah I think that's the word yeah uh-huh. yeah hey somebody get this man a mic <laughs> <laughs> Yo, so but, can um, you tell me a little bit about that and I just started I know he's, conne- he's connected with Grant TMG Co- the Cardone? mortgage guys yeah, yeah. Grant 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 matter of fact Grant, yeah, yeah. he said he's not gonna invest in uh, sh- New York City I yeah shout that. out to that yeah he's real he's gonna stay in Florida Texas right, yeah Texas. Texas all that cause of because of whole Trump with Trump um on Mikey, though, I know he's connected with this guy named Albert Pacheco. I think that's his last name. He uh, He's the founder and owner of the Mortgage Guys, TMG, mm. who'll be hosting events. I know he's well connected with them. Um, and I'm, I'm curious to know if that's who he peeped game from. We've got we've got some uh, girls here that are connected. Al- Albert Preciado, mm-hmm. not Pacheco. Is it Preciado? You know what I'm talking about. Mexican yeah, man. yeah. He's got short hair. It's him yeah. and his wife. Matter of fact... I'm going to look to the camera. I, I know a guy who's part owner to that. His name's Oscar. He's from HP, Huntington Park. And uh, I've been trying to get you in for an interview, bro. I know you're really busy, but hopefully we could get you on here. Uh, homegirls Paola and Alex are connected to that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nah, it's inspiring, bro. I mean, um, you know, Mexican to come from, I think he's from Guadalajara out here. And now to have like a real estate empire. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's longevity. Mm-hmm. Um, I think we should wrap it up on that note because it's going to get a little bit too long. But um, Christina, we just want to thank you. Thank we you, appreciate guys. you coming this was in. Fun. I was you did really great. nervous. I was really nervous getting in here because, like I said, I'm usually on the other side of the yeah. interview. Right. So this is yeah. your first podcast ever. Yeah. Well, besides you're you're with your family, but somebody interviewing you exactly mm-hmm. interviewing right. me. Yeah. yeah. No, well, you generally yeah. did great. I don't yeah. know if it was the shot of tequila. Or you, I think you yeah. found your sauce. I was like, I came in here, guys. I was like, I need a shot. <laughs> I mean, I mean, one thing I told you um, when I messaged you on Instagram mm-hmm. is like, we're gonna do our best to make you feel like home. Yeah. You know, you know I it's it's we're gonna be ourselves and right. Uh, thus far, it's worked out mm-hmm. where we've managed to click with every guest. Right. I hope it stays that way, but. No, you did great. We could you. you can Thank even you. tell and I'm sure you felt yeah, yeah. calm mm-hmm. and it's gonna be your first of many podcasts. Yes. You know, next you know you're gonna have your own. Yeah, yeah don't forget about us when you fucking you're, fuck in, you're <laughs> out there. In. And, you guys yeah. don't forget about me. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going anywhere. Nah, we'll we be right into, here. <laughs> yeah, hey, when we run into you in the events, you know, don't, don't You guys like should. You, you guys should start going. You know what? That'd be dope. He he's more of the boxing. I let him kinda, you know, have his this is his, that's his, I mean, this is his dream. Yeah. I guess yeah. they asked him years ago, hey, what do you want to do for your dream? <laughs> he said, I want to be interviewing from state to state. But look, look, w- w- when I said that, what I meant, w- you know, if you, if you really like digest that there, dissect, okay, it. H- dissect that, how do you get to that point? You got to have financial freedom, yeah. right? So I knew financial freedom was always my goal and it's, uh, it's always going to be my end goal mm-hmm. because if you're, if you're financially okay, then you have the time to do all that stuff, right? But um, that that's what I meant when I f- originally said that. Mm-hmm. Like, I didn't just say, yo, I want to interview people. Or your mm-hmm. job could be, like, yeah. traveling and, and actually being a type yeah. of journalist. Yeah. yeah. Travel journalist. Yeah. That'd be dope. No. But, I uh, like no, on a, a hobby. Yeah. I think on a serious note, um, personally, I'm inspired by you. Aww, I really am. I think you're you. doing your own YouTube channel, yeah. <laughs> going to school and all that. I think it just shows your work ethic. Yeah. You know, and I, I hope that... I mean, we mostly have male fans, obviously, but I hope, you know, some girls see Madison. this. Even males. Yeah. They'll get inspired Matter by fact, me, too. Yeah, of course. Our second female guest. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Second female guest. We had one guest who's borderline trans, so he might be. Like, oh, my God. What? I'm just kidding. I'm not even going to get into that. I, it's, no, it's 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 a joke. It's oh, God. Cool. I was like, Ooh, a joke. Shit. Who was that? I don't, I don't recall that. <laughs> I'm no, leaving. but man, oh I. Gosh. No, listen, listen. You know what? You know what's cool about your story is that. There's a lot of people that come from money. They come mm-hmm. from fame. They have mm-hmm. the uncles who are famous. And, yeah. and, you know, what you said earlier is, like, you didn't want to, like, ride that wave. Yeah. You wanted to create your own wave. Yeah. So kudos it's to dope, you yeah. because it's a lot easier to ride the wave. Yeah. I'm going to just say you should ride the wave here and there. <laughs> I mean, you might as well. I mean, you yeah. know, there will be a time for it. But, mm-hmm. man, you're doing your own thing, creating your own name. I wish you the best. We wish you the best. Thank you so much. Thank this, you guys for the opportunity. Of this course. No doubt, no this doubt. Of course. Thank, thank you for, for coming, coming in on a Monday. Yeah. We usually yeah. do this yeah. on a Thursday, but, you yeah, know. I thought it was Thursday. 
It's Monday, sir. It's Monday. Sir. <laughs> it's Monday. The right. week just started. Oh, but um, thank you for coming, and uh, you know we 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 can't wait to see you grow. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank mm-hmm. you. Appreciate you. I-